Were you saying that people aren't smoking? Is that a thing? So far, you're my third guest, mm -hmm. and both other guests did not smoke. As in, like they didn't cringe, or like they just no, didn't they just have... they don't smoke, so they both they both drink. Well, Gabby I, smokes, oh, I, but okay. she lives in Florida, so yikes. Right, so it's it's a little harder to get the the good stuff over there. The only thing I actually almost thought I was gonna have to do that because I couldn't find my pen, but I found it. I found it. We're good. We're Dude, good. I would have had a. I would have day. <laughs> I would have taken a little nibbles of an edible. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> time I could. That's what that's what Gabby had, but you know, not super feasible. Ethan should drink instead for the funny. No, dude. No one wants to drink. It's just because. That, pro that person's probably from my Twitch chat, and they know how funny I get when I drink. They know how they know how funny it gets. You know that song with by Drake. They know how funny it gets. Okay. Uh, Let's. You wanna you wanna start this? Just stop. I just mean, was... he just keeps going. He keeps talking. That made me feel really mean. <laughs> I was just joking, guys. <laughs> no. I good, my, good. every guest I've had so far for you cringe you smoke. I'm like really mean every time. Like the whole time chat <laughs> just spends like yelling at me for being like some sort of like bigoted person. Which is fair. I mean, that's separate from you being mean. I think... Because um, not know. all bigoted people are necessarily mean. They're not right. good people. It doesn't mean they're good people, guys. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, like... Let's mm -hmm. go continue. I'm saying? just saying, depending on who they talk to, some bigoted people would be nice to certain people. They, for example, like a yeah. racist person. Super nice to white people, probably. Super nice to white people, for sure. Let's move on from this conversation. <laughs> Hi, happy Monday, and welcome back to the famed series, You Cringe, You Smoke, with my guest. I've got a guest with today, and his name is Ethan. Ethan is online. He's a YouTuber. Hi. And Ethan, today we're going to play a game called You Cringe, You Smoke. You know how to play? No. We are going to watch a cringe video, and every time that we decide that a cringe moment has happened, us collectively as a chat will delve in and take a piece of our vices. Mine being my hearty bong here, which today I am humbly introducing its sidekick, which Ethan knows very well, is is the uh, super mega funny monkey lighter. I finally got lighter fluid for it today, so nice. um, it's officially in business. And I got the same one. I also don't have lighter fluid though. So. I could give you, I have some now, a lot. Okay, could you give me some? I mean, yeah, like, next time we see each other. <clears throat> well, like, you could always just send it over. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about mail. it later, man. Just text me later about it. Just text me later about it. We're in the middle of a... Oh, this is really serious. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for that little awkward thing that just happened there. Dude, stop dude, Stop texting. Okay. I have to look something up. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing the intro. Uh, Can you send lighter fluid in the mail? Does anybody know? I just ordered it online and got it in the mail. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. That'll help for when you need to send it. To no, me. I'm not gonna send you. I'll just give you. Just... Dude, you said you would. <laughs> We're never gonna start this. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Ethan, what are you? What are you? Uh, what Ethan? What's your vice back home? I got my 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 trusty little uh, paper airplanes vape with. Uh, it's mainly. It's mainly <laughs> CBD. <laughs> Wait, can but, you scoot back in your chair a little bit? Why? What, are you... You, what, what is that shirt? Oh, it's like a dare shirt. To resist drugs and violence. You're do you're currently doing drugs right now. Only one drug. Oh. Yeah, it's like you, you don't want to do like too many. So, but... yeah, they don't want you to be... Okay, I see. I think violence is the main one that we're, that we're resisting. Oh, so you you think Dare just like mostly cares about violence? Yeah, yeah. I think they're like way more worried about violence. Is there a V in the acronym of Dare? Where no. where does the V? It's also what? Oh, it's oh to resist drugs and violence. So what's Dare stand for? Drugs and recreational e. Drug abuse resistance education. What about the oh? What about the violence? Oh, it's also there. Drugs <laughs> oh. make you violent. As you'll see when I beat the shit out of you. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, but chat, you at home can also play with us, even if you don't smoke. You could, every time we cringe, you could do one of those little cartoon runs away from the screen where you go... Sorry, that that's going to look funny on stream, but e Owen's going to make it look really cool. Um, I'll say Ethan. In post. No, I didn't say that. I didn't almost say Ethan. Okay. 
Um, um, go ahead, Ethan. Every time now you have to say one. Say one what? Every time you cringe, you could. Oh, um, you could watch an entire episode of Game of Thrones. Yep. You could pause the stream or the video and come back when you're done. I think that's... Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, if they're in chat, it's like a different thing, but but just don't... Maybe it's, don't pick that not. one if you're... You can just pause. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, okay. Um, let's introduce our chat and our video of the day uh chat is up there they're gonna say hi to youtube hey youtube hang on can we watch this really quick well oh yeah what do you want to watch i sent it to you on discord we like to troll we like to go the night before one of their primaries we just we do a little trolling it's called we do a little trolling <laughs> it's called <laughs> we do a little that's trolling. i've been obsessed with it we do a it's called we, it's do called, called we do a little trolling <laughs> We do a little trolling. It's called we do a little trolling. <laughs> Such a ridiculous thing to say. It's like, called we, all we know do the... a little trolling. I know. We all know that we do a little trolling, but like people forget that he said it's called we do a little trolling. <laughs> it's troll. called we do. <laughs> also, like I can't troll. hear anything. Like... Oh, I got to share my screen with you. I'm not even sharing my screen with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's called we do a little trolling. <laughs> to go the night before one of their primaries, we just... We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. <laughs> it's great. We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Oh, my God. It is God. what it's called. Wait for election season. Cover yourself in oil. Do a little trolling. Read more? What's that? When? Okay. <laughs> and the video we're going to watch today is I'm Pro Gun, Change My Mind by Steven Crowder. Suggested by Ethan. Yep. This is Nick's favorite YouTuber. So why would I even cringe then, dude? I don't Actually, know. I just kind of want people to see one. what you're into. I kind of wanted the audience to really have more of an experience with this one. Well, let's do... You want to do a, a celebratory introductory hit? Um, just, yeah. Just for the existence of Steven Crowder? Yeah. Um, to Steven Crowder... I hope, um, I legitimately hope you suffer in your life and maybe die. You hope he dies in his life? Yeah, maybe. Me too. Um, hopefully he does. If he doesn't, that would be also kind of crazy. I mean, part of me is like, what if he doesn't die? And then he's like cursed to continue living while everyone he knows and loves dies without him. <laughs> the ultimate curse. Peeth in the yeah. witch. Yeah, like, what if he, like, continued existing to the point where everyone uh, forgot his name, but he was still alive? Damn. Well, personally, I think he's, he's going to carry on a pretty strong legacy, so I feel like, uh, you know. Okay. He might, he might still have a good time for a while. All right, let's whack it. I already took my hit. Do you want me to do another one? Or... No, you don't have to do another one. It's okay. okay. Should we put one cringe on the counter just for Steven Crowder? Yeah, just because he exists. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's 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 get it. You guys, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It only takes us fifty three minutes to get there. Let's. That's we're hanging out. Yeah, yeah, we we're hanging out. No, I didn't mean it like that, man. Like I, I didn't mean it in like any rude way. I was just saying. Okay, let's just. <laughs> Sorry, got 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 my head in the gutter. Dude, hey, YouTube, so what you're about awesome. to watch is a new segment we call oh, Change My nice. Mind. He's got a cool oh, this is the first uh, one. We set up in public. Oh, this is and, literally the first uh, one. Topic. Oh, this is going to be great. In this yeah. video, it's Second Amendment, where I just say, hey, listen, I'm pro-gun. Change my mind. And we actually allow people from other points of view to come up and proactively change my mind. I'd love to hear from you what, what, what topics you would like to hear discussed on this. Uh, also, it's important. This isn't about just a debate or a highlight reel. The point to this exercise is to actually get people to question their own point of view mm -hmm. and see if their argument is rational. And uh, maybe at the end of it, they'll end up changing their own mind. So pro-gun.
In the first episode, yeah. he already admitted that the whole point of the show is not about not to change his change mind. Change his mind because has he has he changed his mind yet? I have a cr cr I know crazy question. Uh, I wonder if he's changed his mind so far in the series. I don't think so. I haven't watched every episode, but I feel like I could come to a conclusion. On Second Amendment, change my mind. Enjoy. Also, it's great that like it looks like his shirt just says socialism. That's what I thought. I thought it was just like him. I thought it was like. Oh, him do you not? Do you not know what that shirt says? No, what does it say at the bottom? Socks? I can't say it on stream. Like, legitimate. It's socialism is for F words, but it's the F slur. Oh my god, what? Yeah, yeah, look it up. Look up Steven Crowder's socialism shirt. Oh my god, why would he do that? <laughs> why the fuck do you think? <laughs> do you know who this is? <laughs> no, I was also, just under the impression that this was like one of our friends. I didn't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, the, the hashtag on this video is day without w a woman. I don't know what that means. What could that possibly mean, dude? Every day in Steven Crowder's life is a day without a woman. I need to What's your name? Danny. Danny. Steven, nice to meet you, Danny. Likewise. Okay. I'm very pro-gun, pro-Second Amendment. Changed my mind. I'm open. First, I, I have a little clarification. Um, do you believe guns have uses other than um hunting yes what do you believe those are already bad uh, argument <laughs> you the, you don't open like that you say do you think guns have any uses other than killing to which yeah. the answer is no well no steven would say well if you if you put a gun on people get scared and it actually reduces mm -hmm. crime because people are so scared of it okay what if the other guy has a gun you just gotta be a little scarier than him. Whoever, it's just oh, a scary okay. contest. And if you, because one of them, I mean, it's a game of chicken. One of them's gonna, one of them's yeah. gonna go. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. That's what I'll never do. do it again, Mister. I'll, ne <laughs> I'll never touch a gun again. You scared me. <laughs> I guess guns aren't aren't bad after all. It stopped me from using mine. Um, so you have an '80s style free freeze frame, and it's like, don't you forget about me. <laughs> Am I allowed to do that? Is that okay? I didn't. I, that was a. Uh, if that was um, offensive in that any way, that wasn't Nick, guys. It wasn't him. It was like a CGI thing that I tried out. It was a uh, on my stream. Yeah. I bumped the button on my stream deck. I believe that the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment. I should clarify is about the basic right to self-preservation. No, it's not. Be that from uh, internal threats, be that from domestic threats, or be that from a threat. This is too political. I didn't realize how political this was going to be. Do you think we're uh, going? to... You think we're gonna cringe a lot of this video, or do you think it's just gonna be a lot of us listening to him talk? Because <laughs> like I already know what he's gonna say. That's the thing. Is like that's fair. I am already cringing because he's he literally just said the fucking Second Amendment is about self preservation. Yeah, I mean he needs to preserve preserve himself. <laughs> we gotta we gotta make sure that Steven Crowder is uh stays around for a while. Yeah. I mean, also, the Second Amendment is not about preserving yourself. The Second Amendment is so you can die for your country. Because when it was made, there was no military. Would you die? Would you die for your country? No. Another one of them. <laughs> Me? Would you? Yeah, dude. You know me. I put my body on the yeah. line for. What does that mean, though, for this country? <laughs> like, is are they saying like if I? Is that is the only circumstance of the U.S. sends me off to war? Is that me dying for my country? Is there it's, like another? If you are in the military, or if like the president is like, "Go kill that guy," and you do it, well, then you wouldn't die for this country unless you. Well, I would. Well, if you die in the process, yeah, then you died for the country. So, do we want to watch this? <laughs> Listen, I'm down. But I just if don't you'd think we're gonna cringe that down. much. I just feel like we already know his. Uh... That's fair. You want me to grab the quartering video? Yeah, I think quartering's a little <laughs> a little more uh, jam packed with flavor. Okay. There's also plenty of Brett Cooper content. She's still making shit. She just cro crossed a million subscribers, but her views were still really bad. Oh, B Coop still going? B Coop. Like for having a million subscribers, she should not be getting that low of views, especially with YouTube Shorts. Dude, that's crazy. It's pathetic, and I think it's obvious that she's still either subbotting or um, something nefarious, because there's no way that you have that level of growth with this average views. If that was true, you and I would be over a million by now. 
I mean, it's impossible because it's it's not about there's there's plenty of people who are at a million who get these views, but not there's really nobody who he's getting like a hundred thousand like a week. There's really nobody who's gotten a million this recently because the, it yeah. literally has been in the past three months. Um, it's kind of bizarre. Like she really like she was getting, but all the regular videos just don't. And then now even, the even shorts some of the do shorts bad are too. Low as fuck. Yeah, because yeah, these shorts are now just starting to to drop. But before they were doing millions. And I think, do you want to know why I think it is? I think it's because she fucking streams and posts twice a day. Yeah, it's just an oversaturation it's... of like shit. Ah, sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean. Yeah, I should have warned you about that. Sorry. Trigger he's warning. So fucked up. <laughs> he looks like he's been he's, through so much. He shit. looks so <laughs> fucked up in like every feasible way. Dev is in the chat. Dev. What's up, Dev? Okay, Dev. this is going to be this. Will, this is the new cringe video. Um, it's new. It's called <laughs> the new Star Wars is literally about Trump. They said it, but I can't believe it. Andor about Trump. <laughs> Andor about Trump. Mm -hmm. Dude, that is, he is an actual caveman. Dude, he lo what is he looks fucked up. <laughs> I can't get over it. He looks so fucked up. Okay, let's, I, let's I, like, get this shit. I'm trying to like scour my brain for another way to describe it, but I literally can't. What's There's wrong, something Wong? wrong with him. He's got to have this as bad boy on it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here from the quartering, and I, I, I remember like making jokes about this, like, "Oh, the new Star Wars will just have like a Trump villain in it," and because modern day writers love their self. What does that mean, <laughs> dude? Star Wars literally has like like Hitler in it, and he's like. He's like, they're gonna go so far as to make a Trump character. They're making it political. Dude, they're in space and they use like guns and lasers and shit, like I in in lightsabers. I don't think the worst of your worries is them making a Trump character. So wait, did you watch whatever this is about? Like, do we know? It's not out yet. That's the funniest what? part. <laughs> They've only showed a trailer. For what? What is this? It's or, the. Do you remember Rogue One? The Andor. Oh, it's the one about the random guy. Cassie and Andor. Yeah. And that everyone was hoping there would be a show about. Everyone was hoping. Who wasn't for that. even the fucking main character of that movie? There was. There is no main character in that movie. But also, like, it's fucked up because like it actually looks good, and I'm kind of mad about it. It's one of the only <laughs> Star Wars shows that have been shot on location, and it actually looks like really competently shot. Oh, it's good. It looks um, way better than the fucking dog shit bo book of Boba Fett and whatever the fuck Mandalorian season two was, and Obi Wan. What's up? Who is this? What's going on? I don't know. Do you know how to move things in Shatterino when you? I always. Oh, you have to like relaunch it if it won't move. It never can does. Also... Never. It literally always... never works. I try it every time. I think it's a me. It must be a me thing. Yeah. You oh, here I got it. The... Oh. This fuck? person really doesn't like politics. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we giving this dude more of a platform? Do you know who I've done videos Bro. on? What do you mean? I just did a also, video. Also, look on at his Tate. sub count. Maybe no. This might have been about. This might have been about uh, Stephen Crowder, Stephen Stevie C, which he has the biggest platform. We're not. He's also the most well-paid right-wing YouTuber. Stephen yeah. Crowder. Also, just don't tell me what to do when I stream. It's just dumb. Cringe <laughs> makes me. Yeah, that's cringe. the real cringe. I'm gonna take a smoke for that. Yeah, you can watch someone else. It's okay. Imagine if we platform Stephen Crowder. Yeah, platforming Stephen Crowder. Let me tell you what platforming Steven Crowder would look like. Uh, he would come onto the broadcast and he'd be watching this video with us and we would not be challenging anything he says. And if you really think that that's the kind of people that we are, then I you're sorely mistaken. Because if I was interacting with Steven Crowder, I would call him ugly. Fuck. <laughs> and I'd say he's stupid. Everything's political, guys. I'm sorry. It's not a choice. Blame Steven Crowder and the I'm quartering. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Nick muted himself on stream. Oh, no. Are you going to throw up? Nick feels, Nick feels really good. He's doing push-ups right now. 
I can hear his muscles creaking and cracking. Um, Oof, 99-100, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Political, Ethan canceled. I don't know what to tell you. I can, does my soundboard, can you hear it? No. Damn it. I have one of Shane Dawson from a really old video going pedophile, like really angrily. Oh my god. Yeah, it, the sound, it's, it's just called Yaw, because that's his real last name. Did you know that? Shane Dawson's name is just Shane Yaw? <laughs> yeah, his full name is Shane Lee Yaw. <laughs> but he changed it because he's racist. Oh, yeah. He's not Asian. <laughs> yeah, but he's not, though. Oh, wait, he's not? No. I thought he was Asian this whole time. Awkward. Okay. I gotta charge my mouse. Play that was over. my bad. I hit my bong too hard, so... Did it break? Seriously. This episode is so effed, dude, but I'm... No, I... it's funny. Oh, okay. This is gonna be good. We're at two cringes. We cringed at the him saying... Uh, I'm so something. way more than that. And I, we were constantly told... What are you talking about? Dude, what this is a bad boy. Yeah. What does he do? Why I'm is not inserting modern politics? Or they're saying uh, they'll say stuff like, "Well, Star Wars was always political." We it said literally that. was always political. The first movie is a fucking Hitler movie. It's literally like a Holocaust movie. <laughs> but a Hitler movie. It's a Hitler movie. <laughs> But also, like he said, modern politics. He's gonna make the argument that if it's modern politics, it's bad. What's but the also, difference? like, also when Star Wars came out, the World War II was only thirty years prior, if that, and that was the end of World War II. So it's like if we had made, if Star Wars had Bill Clinton in it, according to his logic, if there was a Bill Clinton character in Star Wars, I guess that would be fine because that was thirty years ago. Now, like, what, what, why is it bad if it's newer? If it's like modern, if it's politics? modern politics, because then it's cringe and you're oh. and you have an agenda. If it's politics from 30 years ago, though, like Bill Clinton, then it's not an agenda. OK, that makes a lot more sense. I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming from now. Um, yep. <clears throat> dude, they should do a movie, Star Wars movie about um, Bill Clinton and the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Yeah, but uh, Darth Vader gets a blowjob from uh, a teenage intern. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, she was a teenager? She was 19. Wow. Dude. And the fucking media ripped her apart. Yeah, she still gets made fun of today. Like, she just, she she tried to get a, a reference to her out of, like, a Beyonce song. And, like, since Beyonce has so many stands, she just got fucking, like... People, like insane. so like the the like victim blaming shit was like so bad and i, I was know. like it, it really is and i was like when you guys like... don't represent anything like that you actually believe in the moment it no. touches someone you like it's crazy how many people like that there are out there i mean eminem has a reference to monica Lewinsky too oh i'm sure it's so ever tasteful. since bill clinton was still in office with monica Lewinsky filling on his nutsack <sighs> it's from rap god she's a hero she is though. Also, oh, uh, is. George Lucas has said you're right. George Lucas has said that uh, Star Wars was based on the Vietnam War, um, but there are a lot of World War II allegories just because that's the inspiration from the filmmaking. But yes, it is based on the Vietnam War, which had only ended a few years prior to the release of Star Wars. They got same no decade. There's Hitler. Oh, so I mean, a, so it's sort of like a Hitler movie still. <laughs> just tell me how I'm right. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh but, so yeah, it's it was modern politics at the time. Yeah, it was. Right. Well, let's see how this is going to work out for them because according to Fiona, dude, Sch is he like wasted when he records these? Uh, yeah, I think that's maybe maybe the vibe that I'm getting from like his fucked up face. <laughs> he looks like he's on something, like he's on like benzos or something. Sorry, guys, a lot of this cringe is gonna be different from like the cut kind of cringe. <laughs> this is more just like every second we have to stop and talk about this guy. He but peed in his wife's basement, by the way. Oh my god, we I forgot that about that. We should. I would love that. Um. <laughs> Ethan should rap Bornana. I can make orange rhyme with banana. Bornana. Eating pork rind sword fighting in pajamas. Dude, you are at the crib playing Fortnite with your grandma. You are telling on yourself right now. <laughs> at the crib playing Fortnite with the grabber. Fortnite with the 
with uh, your grandma. With your grandma. <laughs> the quarter. Open it in a new tab. We gotta finish this later. Oh yeah. Okay, I thought if you held control, it would put it. It would put it into a new middle, tab. Middle mouse button, the back arrow. What's going on, everyone? Show me your. Oh. Middle you mouse really button, the back arrow. With the one that you just pressed, dude. Now you can do it with the forward arrow, though. Okay. Oh, we should do that. dude, that's so that's epic. How did you even know about that? You're smart. Dude, middle mouse button opens a new tab if you click on anything. Wow. You know, that's awesome. That. It's great. Playing Fall Guys. Oh yeah, this is yeah, this is the, yeah yeah. <laughs> So, guys, let me set the scene. Jeremy the Quartering was upset because his wife went out to pizza without him. <laughs> so he got really drunk playing Fall Guys on stream. And he got so mad about his wife leaving him for pizza that he said that if he lost that round of Fall Guys, he would piss in his... He would piss in his basement. The basement floor! And so his wife... So then he lost a game and he was like... That's it. I'm doing it. And then he went into like a pipe in the corner of his basement, I think, like on the floor, and he like mm -hmm. peed into it. And mm -hmm. then he came back and was like, I peed in my basement. I just peed. What does he say? I just peed in my basement. Oh, 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 we're gonna we're about to hear it. Also, guys, <laughs> out there, listen to me. There's no fucking excuse to be an incel on the internet. You can't do it. The quartering is married. The quartering has had sex before. <laughs> you can't. There's gonna be someone out there who will love you. Yes. I mean, I don't know if his wife loves him, but like, she do totally doesn't. But she's consensually but, like, married to him. You could find someone out there, guys. Don't be insults. You could find someone who will consensually oh. marry you and will put up with you. And you can go and play video games in your basement, and they'll and still piss in the basement, and they'll still sleep with you. They might not love you, but they'll. Mm -hmm. Mer they'll still they'll consensually live with you, live and, with you and exist mm -hmm. with you um and that's better than being an incel guys it is you you'd rather have fake love than than no love at all and a lot of hate in your heart a lot of hate in your heart me yeah i don't hate women i love women <laughs> how high are you already dude oh dude, my did you god see how much i coughed that was like the hardest yeah. i've ever taken of my bong like i'm not even oh kidding my god. <laughs> And I, so I'm like, We're in for a night. so I like, I pre, I did pre, I pre gamed and I was at like maybe a one or two and I hit that yeah. and now I'm at like a six or seven. Well, I'm at like a three. So we're, we're good. We're doing good. Oh. Um, uh, let's watch this. Okay. This is so, this is, this is a legendary video. You never know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I'm like a parrot. <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. You got it down. Wait, we gotta play this again. Let me let me crank this shit. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Maybe I'm gonna pee in my trash can down there. I don't know. My wife went out for pizza without me. And I'm angry about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna win this round and I'm gonna pee. If I and go then win I'm this gonna... round, I'm gonna pee in my own basement. <laughs> Dude, he does sound fucking trashed wasted. He's so he is like so wasted in this video. Yeah. I'm calling that a, I mean that whole thing's got to be a cringe. It is. I mean it's yeah, funny true. to me because I've seen it so many times, but it's so it's so bad. Also, dude, like the fucking background is so funny to me. It's like pro Jared's background. Dude, it really is. It's so it's so similar. It's so it's, it's like, the noob dude. This is like my background from when I lived in my parents' basement. I it's not that bad. I peed in my basement. Your parents' basement's background is way more appealing than this because you had like funny shit. This is just like <laughs> I have a Mario Brothers poster <laughs> it's, what and is a it? Kirby's it's a sheet of paper. Adventure. It is. It's some <laughs> sheet of paper I got from Etsy. It's like, guys, did you know I'm a, a Gen X slash millennial and I like Pokemon and NES games? NES yeah. games. It's fucking. I like Nintendo 64. We all know. <laughs> You're like, I you could take one look at you and be like, yeah, this dude's a fucking game collector. He posts on Reddit. Tell him. I like the Game Boy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We all like the Game Boy, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yo, hey. <clears throat> Everyone, shout out to my cousin. I'm no, not my cousin. Shout out to my neighbor in chat, Luke Bent 620, my childhood Luke neighbor. Bent. Everyone say, hey, Luke. 
That's Nick's child's neighbor. No, 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 no. It was when I was a child, he was my neighbor. Go ahead and play the video. Ethan, it was when I was a child, he was my neighbor. Hey, Luke. Luke's a guy. Luke's, Luke's a great guy. From Star Wars. Dude, come on. Not now. Which isn't political. Why do you keep bringing up Star Wars? What does that have to do with any of this? You, first of all, you know who I am. I always bring up Star Wars. Oh, I thought you were going to say George Lucas. I, I got freaked out for a second. <laughs> I was so excited. I thought I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh, no, you were saying that you just like Star Wars. I, I went to I, the same. I straight up thought you were George Lucas. <clears throat> I went to the same school as him. So I get how you can make that. You uh, guys were to classmates. <laughs> you want to say that again? <laughs> you guys were classmates. Yeah, dude. It, like if so if you could be like a classmate with someone who went to the same school but like 50 years a after what are you saying <clears throat> i went to the same school but like 50 years after and i took different classes than him okay so like what's your okay <clears throat> i was there dude i was in the buildings that he was in at a different time i guess i could have done that too if i just like, mo like if went... you lived in my town <laughs> I had a coworker that went. To, town. I had a coworker that went and like visited his childhood home and like George Lucas's childhood home, um, as like a tourist thing. But like also that's very weird. And some guy came out and he was like, "Yo, what the fuck are you doing in front of my house?" And he was like, "Yo, this this is where George Lucas used to live." And he's like, "Who the fuck is George Lucas?" He's like, "You know Star Wars." He's like, "I don't know what the fuck that is. Get away from here." <laughs> oh my god, it's a real Star story. Wars. Yeah, he's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I had something funny to say, but I immediately forgot. Did you see my new tattoo? I think I sent it to you. Yeah, you did. Shout out to Ethan's new tattoo. Ah, oof, ah, oof. Oh, whoa. Easy, tiger. Yeah, look out. I had a bunch of new tattoo ideas. I'm excited. What about a, like a big... A big... Yep. A big tree in a well. Dude, you're never gonna believe this. What? I already have. What? You're kidding. Yeah. No. I wouldn't say it's so... a big tree though. Well, what if the well is just like massive? Massive well. And then the tree's even Oh my god, the tree's massive. Because the well's yeah. massive. Sorry. Okay. I mean you gotta think about how far down it goes, yeah. Because oh, it's whoa. popping all the way out. It's wow. growing all the way at the bottom, it's popping all the way out. Can we play this? <laughs> video oh my portillo's is at the door this guy got fucking portillo's fudge dude don't look in the reflection of my glasses it's my biggest fear one can't even see what the hell i'm just kidding um I... oh my god wait is that right <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna go get my Portillos. I'm gonna hit play. Yeah. Unless you have something you want to say. What do we think about that? <laughs> this fucking camera angle is so. I have a bathroom fun. down here. Oh, we okay, made it. On. I actually have to pause it. I gotta be here for this. <laughs> this guy's getting his Portillos, Derek. Just like me and your mom last night. I don't know the context of that. The chat is delayed. Ethan's stream now. That's right. Ethan, pisters rise up. Blink if you need help. But I have to blink. I have to. Tell us dirt about Nick. I love Nick. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing I could ever say that would make people dislike Nick. Because Nick's a genuine guy. Genuinely, Nick is like one of my best friends in the world. And I adore him. And there's literally nothing wrong with him. He's not ill. He's not fucked in the head. He's a good guy. He does. He does good things. You guys talking about Don Rickles? Rest yeah, dude. You ever think about how Tommy Pickles' name is Dill Pickles? Wait, Tommy Pickles? I thought we were talking. About I mean, Don, his. I thought we were talking about no, Don Rickles. Tommy Pickles has a brother named Dill Pickles. Were we talking about Tommy Pickles? Were we talking about Don Rickles? Has a brother. Or were we no. talking about Tommy Pick? I asked if we were talking about Don Rickles. Why would we be talking about Don Rickles right now? Because that's what I asked, and then you said, yeah, we're talking about Don Rickles, and I was like, rest in peace. Who the fuck is Don Rickles? I think Don Rickles, he's an American. 
Dude, he's like a, a classic comedian. He just died he five died years like, ago. He just died five years ago. <laughs> Dude, when your life is... How old was he? I can't do math. I think he was 91. When you're 91 years old... Yeah, he's man. Toy Story 4. Five years was just five years. How is he in Toy Story 4? It came out like a year ago. They bring they him back? Him up. Yeah, they woke him up for it. Also, Toy Story Four was three years ago. I think he, pl I think he plays Slinky. Oh, you're right. He does play Slinky. I remember because Slinky dies. Oh no, he plays Hot Ken in the Ascot. Actually, no. Yeah, that's him. See, it's right next to him. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, see. It's not though. Bambi, move. Oh, he did play Don Rickles that one time. Oh no, he was Mr. Potato Head. Oh, what the hell? So the voice actor for Slinky also died. But he died after the like first movie. How'd they get Mr. Potato Head in the new movie if he died? They recasted him, obviously. I thought you said he was in Toy Story 4. How could he be in Toy Story 4? It was came out after he died. Well, movies happen before <laughs> they come out. Like they take they have years of production. But they like, probably already years? had his voice lines. Yeah, dude, it says he's in Toy Story 4 oh. right here. Yeah, two, two years. is like when a movie starts pre-production. Yeah, but you do animation like... at the end. You do the animation after the Yeah, voice. but you don't do voice acting in the beginning. You do writing in the beginning. You have to write what he says to me first. me how he's in the show. <laughs> he's he's not. Show. Do you think everything fucking Google says is right? Yeah, more than you right here. Toy Story. <laughs> Toy Story 1 and 2. And Toy Story 2's Hawaiian Vacation. And part of Story Rex. And the Toy Story that time for what the fuck are these? I've never heard of any of these. And Toy Story is my favorite. He was the, the Doodle Bops as audience. He was just like the whole audience. <laughs> he was also in the Toy Story two DVD read along. Who was Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story four? They did a thing where they used old unused voice lines and pieced them together. What Why is he not in IMDb? <laughs> Why is he not in IMDb? Or Toy Story 4. That's fucked up. I hate that, actually. You think they should have killed him in the movie? No, I think they should have just recasted him. <laughs> it's the same shit that they do with, like, Star Wars, where they, like, de-age somebody. Mm -hmm. When they could just get someone who kind of looks like him. And, like, that's what they used to do before movies were soulless. Well, dude, it's about preserving the legacy of a legendary No, it's not. Character. It's about It's about not paying somebody who's part of a union. <laughs> Listen, man. It's about the story it's, at the end of the day. It's literally <laughs> No, look, it says his team asked their family. It oh, was a no-brainer. Mindy Rickles. <laughs> Mindy Rickles. Mindy said Rickles, it, you it guys no heard it. Dude, Mindy Rickles said it was a no-brainer. <laughs> it's fucking classic Mindy Rickles, dude. No, like the only reason they're not fucking putting in fucking new actors so they could be like, oh, this is like a contract actor. Well, also so they can put Don Rickles' name on the fucking on the bill. Don Rickles is not going to fucking bring in any fucking seats, dude. That's the only reason like, I've ever watched any of these movies. It's for DR, <laughs> dude. He's like one of the original st three stooges. Nobody fucking gives a shit. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you are such a jerk for that, you know? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm talking about Don Rickles from the Don Rickles show. You better get your shit together. And he plays Don Robinson on that show. <laughs> That's, you know, you're right. How does he play Don Robinson on the Don Rickles show? Who's playing <laughs> Don Rickles? Don Robinson. Oh. Dude, that would be such a fucking funny bit. It's just like casting two people as each other. <laughs> That's so, this would be so stupid. If it was known people, everyone would be confused. They should do a movie yeah. where it's John Hamm and Brad Pitt, buddy cop. But Brad Pitt plays John Hamm, and John Hamm plays Brad Pitt, and Brad Pitt uh, plays John Hamm. Takes a, a, a takes a hammer and puts the claw around a guy's testicles and drags him around when he was uh, hazing him at a fraternity. Dude, do you, do you see, have you seen Old Boy? Guys, I said that. <laughs> I said that. What, what was it? I said that Brad Pitt did it because he's playing John Hamm. John right. Hamm did that to a guy at a fraternity and he hazed him and he basically m mutilated him and dragged his body around the campus and then years later when they interviewed him and asked him about it he said it was a bummer of a thing 
<laughs> that's what he said about it. And because the, the guy sued the university, and of course. he said that John Hamm was the worst out of all of them. And he said that it, he he had like this genuine like fear when he looked into John Hamm's eyes because, and and he did this lawsuit before John Hamm was famous, so it wasn't even like a one of those things where you can be like, oh, they tried to get him because he's famous. Like th- these were records that came up. I know we've talked about this, I think, but I'm just telling chat because I love I love bringing up the the John Ham because that guy's a piece of trash, dude. Classic Ham moment. You yeah, ever, geez. Have you ever seen Old Boy? Which one? The 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 2003 one. I haven't seen either of them, so I don't know why I asked. So no. <laughs> um. It's it's got a scene where a guy takes the claw of a hammer to a guy's teeth and he starts oh, ripping his teeth oh, out. Oh come on, Ethan! Uh, not, to not, interrogate him. You didn't and I was to. thinking about that because it's a cool scene in the movie. You didn't need to say that. It's a cool movie. Ham and cheese. <laughs> Thanks. You guys. see that girl on TikTok? She kind of talks like this. She's like, "You ever go to? You ever?" <laughs> Who are you talking about, dude? You guys know. You guys know. She's like, "Hi." The, the... <laughs> You sound crazy right now, dude. No, 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 no. It's this girl on TikTok. She's really cute, but she's like, uh, oh, so now you have a big fat crush on her. No, I'm just saying she's cute. Oh, it's always about cute with you. So wait, who? So you think she's cute, but you're mocking so, her voice and making her sound like no? A that's Muppet? what did she sounds like? Someone just said Chrissy. <laughs> I don't think so. What? If if we're thinking of the same Chrissy, you're insane. What are we talking about? She is on TikTok. She is. Do you have a crush on her? No, I don't even know her. Someone said, Ethan, please don't say you're talking about the dead girl. What if she's dead? No, I'm not talking about dead girl. She posts all the time. Here. Makeup artist? No, she's just funny. She does funny? <laughs> Shut the hell up, man. We should watch She-Hulk. Is it out yet? I was just, I was just thinking. We uh, should try actually. to watch it after this until we get copyright taken down. Uh, I've watched. I've I literally bought the chair, the show that Shane Dawson was on, and watched it on stream, and no one cares. You um, watched the chair. I bought it and watched it on stream. You cares. watched it. Yeah, the show, the chair. Oh, I thought you bought the chair, like bought a chair that Shane Dawson used. Like you bought the same one, and then you brought it home, and then you watched it on stream. Like you cleaned it oh. up so you could use it in your house because you like love his. You love. Uh, Shane Lee. Uh... Oh, Shane Lee. Yeah, dude, my fucking I'm just like on my following page and I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm not actually, but it's very embarrassing. Why? Wait, what's going on? Oh, your TikToks? I'm trying to find the girl. No, I'm I'm on TikTok trying to. You're uh, saying you're, it's embarrassing because you follow a lot of like uh, a lot of really cute e-girls clad women. <laughs> they're not. It's not that they're sca- It's not that they're like scantily clad. It's just that they're all very like. Uh, an obvious type that I have of just like really funny like cosplay girls. Why can't I find this fucking person? Did I make her up in my head? Oh my god, he's going crazy. Oh no 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 no! I guess I might not follow her. She just pops up on my phone. And she sounds like page. this. <laughs> she sounds like this. Or so. You guys ever go to the? <laughs> what do I Dude, sound like? What the hell, bro? <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. She had one where it's like, uh, I think. So. Shout out to Green Gangsta OG in the chat. Thanks for the laughs, dude. I've had a bad day, but this stream is making me laugh so effing much. Hell yeah! Uh, hang Shout on, TikTok. You, Take a girl swimming on a first date. <laughs> she has like a stitch that's funny. Dude, there was another post about me on the Brendan Shop subreddit, and I I made a mistake and clicked that one, and everyone was shitting on me. <laughs> Oh, really yeah dude everyone was like this I'll guy's just them. as annoying as brendan shop and i was like dude what did i do i think it's just because i'm not like super masculine and like x x brendan shop fans are like masculine guys that just like don't find him funny anymore yeah yeah they're just like <laughs> dude bros luke said jojo Siwa. what about her <laughs> he said that you say that was the girl oh, no that'd be so funny Guys, how do I know if a guy's into me or if he's just being nice? Um, try to like touch his arm when you laugh at a joke that just he tells. Just ask him. 
be like, hey, what the fuck is up, you little fucking worm? And then pinch him in half and see if he makes two of them. Pinch him in half? Yeah, if you could do that to a worm. You pinch him in half, you created two worms. You, got, you see that guy on TikTok that's the, the King Beard X that he's like, <laughs> That will be my fat ass. <laughs> that's yummy hot dogs. <laughs> What is this guy talking about, guys? You haven't seen that one? Dude, I've been on TikTok like crazy lately because I'm fucking brain broken. That would be my fat ass. We need to finish doing this. We're at no, cringe no, no, no. counter we... number four. We're going to watch this really quick, though. Wait, wait, wait. Mindy Rickles said she wanted him in the movie. Mindy Rickles? Mindy Rickles. She wanted Oh, Oh, Min... Mindy Rickles. I can't find the original. King Beard. This is the one that I saw first, but it's not the original. But I can't find the original. You guys know what I'm talking about. Guys, we're watching. <clears throat> guys, we're watching. Oh, I thought you were about to like show That's something. Political. No, well, I sent you this video. No, you want me to play the Okay, okay, okay. How would I show it? I'm not... <laughs> Who's buying this? That would be my big fat ass. Who mm -hmm. doesn't taste good? I don't give a damn what nobody says. That's yummy. That's yummy hot dogs. Yes, I have seen this mother effer. There's gotta, I love that there's guy. There's gotta be another... I can't find the original. That's yummy hot dogs. Yummy hot dogs. That's how my dad talks. Your dad talks like that guy? A little bit. It's awesome. He's feeling goofy. I love my dad. <laughs> I was ready to pee my pants. I'm ready to, Dude, he's I, so I, drunk. I don't have a toilet down here. All I have is a drain in the floor. <laughs> he's slurring his fucking speech. Oh, it's so bad, dude. Oh, is this bad of us to laugh at a... No, it's not. Nope. He's a bad person. List off his his uh his worst crimes. Um, in 1997, he went into my bathroom in what? my house. Yeah, believe it or not, I owned a house back then. The housing market was a different place prior to 9/11. It changed a lot of things, and people don't think about that. People think about the 2008 housing crash as the moment that housing prices really changed in America, but that was really the moment that corporate, you know, corporate uh, property management started buying the houses. Before 9/11 was the real crash. What's he talking about, guys? The quartering did 9/11. Oh my God. I crown. I crowned that as a cringe. Right, crowned that as a cringe. This is every episode of. <laughs> screenshot dude dude that's a great reaction image he's okay, so sad on the I inside make a funny tweet like just tweet it no <laughs> caption no bitches you crop it though crop it crop it this is know, but it's so to... funny because he's in the... all the negative space <laughs> it's al i almost feel like i like the fact that you can tell it's like a full <laughs> screenshot how the I do fuck like would i crop it zoom in but does it have to be this aspect ratio? Yes. <laughs> fuck why? You know yeah, what? I'm doing the whole photo. Twitter's fuck. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> He's dodging <laughs> like in Dark Souls. <laughs> Dude, what is... He's so... He's fucked up. Tika... He's whoop. Oh my god, look at this. Tika Quinn says, Nick, can you please wave? My dad is watching and he's a big fan. He's a big fan of me. That's why Ethan is hit Filipino off. Filipino off? So, is about these knockoff Crocs, no. like... Croc-offs. <laughs> what? Where I did you find care. this person? Kill him. What? Why would we kill them? Whoever put this in the chat, kill him. Kill the person in the chat or whoever's in chat needs to kill her. Maggie. How's your oh, dad feel? The I'm person in the chat. chat. Who is this? Three what are we looking ones. at? I just I just what, what, I I do? Do? what are you doing? 
Autumn oh. from Dozer. <laughs> Creekside. Yeah, I literally used to live in Creekside. I just moved. Autumn. That would be my big <laughs> fat ass. said all the strip clubs. That's yummy hot dogs. <laughs> you guys watch YouTube. I yeah. used to. I don't that's know. Mine. That's, that's mine. Autumn. That's not cap. Autumn. I miss you a lot. Yeah, he said my comments. I miss you a lot. The bottom. It's the best day of my life. Dude, give him some coins. Nah, shoot. Give him a oh, I have bottom, coins. Joey. I have coins. I have 171 coins. What you talking about, Willis? Ow! I miss oh, it. Oh, no. Where'd you get TikTok? No. <laughs> give him my ice cream cone. I'm scared. I don't want them to think I'm weird. What if it's no, a, uh, do it. Give him the 170 it. ice cream cones. Autumn's like, that's just for the I never got to have. Play bad bunny. What are you doing? Why is this shot so blue? Why don't TikTok's live not out chasing girls? <laughs> it's a Wednesday night and we actually the have jobs. Light. We got work. I'm trying to balance it. Autumn okay. Autumn's like, Dude on the right, the right looks like fucking, what's his face? The actor. That guy goes, wow. Owen Wilson. Yeah. I don't even think oh, Autumn's still in this Dude, thing. what if I say I'm gonna like have me, I'm gonna have a meeting You're still in it <laughs> And then we have a oh, bunch of people you know come in Lux's And then like no, <laughs> That's like the yeah, most awful thing <laughs> You're trying to raid the fucking live chat Don't do it guys no. Give him 170 ice cream cones Jacob, instead uh, I say it's Jacob No, click on his profile Can I do a meeting? Jacob, Jacob. Yeah. Say, I'm going to give you 170 cool. ice cream Jake. cones. Is that okay? Would you Thanks, Would you Jake. like that? You do good, um, <laughs> to give you ice cream. No, I will for sure go to Nashville. Uh, I'm supposed to move there as fast as you, but I didn't. I'm willing to give you that ice cream. Your mom fell asleep, that's why. Wow! That you read like half of it. <laughs> Give it to them! Who to black? Wait, you only gave one! <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna turn pro and go off, so my golf coach is. Keep clicking it! Here, so Guys, but don't say my. Don't. Or, no, I would at least have a house in Nashville. Pay for the meeting in Nashville. 25. Look, she followed you. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, do not get me banned. Mark, you remember Perry, don't you? No, I do not, actually. I'm disappointed. Yeah, I'm. Jace. 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 No, no, no guys, me? don't raid. Nick, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> guys, you gotta stop. We gotta stop. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Dude, this is. This is Jace. Guys, they don't know, they don't watch Twitch, they don't understand, they're gonna think you're mean to them. You no, have to get out of there. Not me. I know, but they don't know that, they don't know that. These guys are hard-bodied fellas. Give them, give them ice cream or get the fuck out of their chat. I'll give them more ice cream, I'll give them more ice cream. Not you, I'm just the chat. You guys, the chat gotta give them ice cream. He just ignored my question. Stop asking about ice cream and give them ice cream, chat. I'm them so much ice cream, I'm not talking to you, Nick, I'm talking to the chat. Dude, you're gonna ask, you want them to spend the money? If they have coins. No one has coins except for me. Yeah, God's the only, God's the you don't know that. Person. They keep saying raid. Stop <laughs> saying raid, they don't know what that means. They aren't in the- they <laughs> don't even watch YouTube, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know what that means. <laughs> suffering so hard. <laughs> it's like, I feel so bad for them. Who's this? Straight. <laughs> It's hey, them again. <laughs> I am straight. Give them ice cream. There you go, Even, Jace, I've you. given them so much ice cream. You gave them like eight ice creams. Give them Dude, more. what is your deal with the ice cream? Oh, what are you going to use these coins man. for? You didn't even know you had them. Dude, I'm <laughs> using them. I'm using them right now, Ethan. No, just like fucking sit there on the <laughs> button. I want to see the reaction. Dude, button, what is, why do you want me to send them so much ice cream? <laughs> what is going on? I want them to react. I don't know what it means. No! I'm about to get off. No, look. Mark. He's about to get off. Thank you so much. I'm going to say with Yeah, 50 ice creams. How the way he is, and he's truly comfortable in his own shoes. Ice cream. See, Bass, do not make me start getting off. This is just ridiculous. It took a bad It's just us, Mark. You can be honest. Yeah. No, that is not me. That is not me at all. ice cream. Do you like blondes? Oh yeah. Is your head like blondes? Dude, you're get, you're redistributing the wealth. I don't know. Do they get money for this? What the fuck is this? So. 
Uh, how do you like Nashville? Uh, I know that's a past conversation. You're from Nashville. Skip, Nashville. But I was actually going to ask, how do you like it? You know, green ice cream comes from Mark is hot ice. Meg the Stallion, Joey. I always knew Mark Okay, I think this whole ice cream thing is going above our heads. <laughs> They're sending it. ice cream when they no, say No, I know it. that, but I think it's like... I don't know what the fucking color is. You ask them if they get money from either ice cream, or did you just waste all your coin? I think in my... In my don't answer these ice cream, Joey. I think in my... I don't know what it is. You're distributing the wells. This I'm guy long. looks like he's in the New Jurassic Park movie. I was just thinking that. <laughs> Not in like a really inherently bad way. Well, no, he's but, hot. He is hot, yeah. Too. But you just got the fucking shirt and the glasses. I think in my TikTok live video I talk about this where they don't get any money from it. Because I like try anything. No, it's just like a fun little thing. What the fuck? That's so stupid. I thought we were giving them money and we were distributing the wealth. No, dude, that's why I was saying it's so stupid because it's just fucking you pay money for nothing. That's so fucking lame. Wait, someone asked what their pronouns are. I gotta know. Mark just turned 16 city, last week. No, I'm actually 15. Yeah, totally. Completely. Oh, I 15. thought they were actually 16. I was it's like, oh, we gotta get ridiculous. the fuck out of here. I'm his babysitter. Hey, bestie. Look, hey, there's another one of their friends in there. Another one. The friend group's going off. Wyoming. I'm Cowboy boots, country roots, Nashville knives. <laughs> Dude, look at this uh, guy sending him so much ice cream. Why are all my friends in here? Mark, congrats. Now you can go. Yes, they're all friends. <laughs> Oh my god, he's trying to pass she's you up. Be popping off. Oh, Go I just off. realized I'm like winning. My country best yeah. But it, the, the next Bro, guy's only wait. five behind you. No, I, I can't wait to go to Nashville. I'll be there probably. Oh my, this guy's showing me his belly. Guys. Can I wear your sunglasses? Y'all can Sorry, I don't mean a body shame. I just threw me up. Mark's Your connection's unstable, dude. No, no. There we go, Jace. <laughs> Jace. <laughs> I forgot we were streaming for a second. Dude, this is good. No, I hate don't pull Buy more like coins. <laughs> I'm scared it was going to be like... <laughs> Show your whole ass credit card and your address. Yeah, joke's on you oh, guys. I just... I just... At Cosmos. Hello, Mark Willis. Holy shit, there's another Mark Willis. The fuck? There's Hello, two Mark, Mark there's Willis. Another... I'm, I'm the winner. For you. Mark, hey. Oh my god. Are you on the Auburn Radio? What is with this okay. font? What? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, what I the fuck is this fucking this. sans yeah, font? We're going to George's Rodeo Friday. Oh, they're going to George's Rodeo Friday. Oh, shit. Nick, can we go to the Georgia Rodeo? I thought he said George's Rodeo. No, Georgia. This guy doesn't even know. Okay, let's find a shit. Let's f I'm Mark <laughs> Willis. <laughs> we gotta watch the quartering pee in his basement. I feel like we're gonna have to use it, though. I feel like we're gonna have to use it. <laughs> I'm not gonna have to use it though. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta pee so bad. God, he's so I drunk. Gotta so bad. I gotta pee so bad. I gotta pee so bad. I gotta pee so bad. I'll never survive this round. It's so sad to be I'm this not drunk alone. This round. I gotta pee so bad. And it's because his wife left to go get pizza with her friends and didn't invite him. Which, like, I don't know the backstory, but. <laughs> Maybe she. Dude, why, he, he's an adult. Why didn't he just go? Why didn't he just drive over? Yeah, like, why wouldn't he be able to meet them? Dude, that's your wife. Like, just ask. Just be like, hey, can I come? Or no. Unless it's like she's going with her friends and he doesn't like her friends because he's misogynistic or something. Or they, like, know what he does and they hate him. That would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, and she still goes and hangs out with them. Yeah, because, like, they're her friends. Good for her. Yeah, I'm not going to say good for her. For the quarter oh, I'm almost about to pee my pants. pants. I got a piece so bad. I gotta pee so bad. Do it, King. I wanna lose so I can pee, but I don't wanna lose. How the like how sad do you gotta be like making jokes in the quarterings Twitch chat while he's playing Fall Guys? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like so he's like so depressingly drunk and needs help and everyone's like <laughs> You're gonna Nicocado avocado yourself. Oh my god. I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> this game has no rules. I make the rules. This is gonna be the best video. <laughs> it's gonna be so bizarre, but I'm excited for that. It. Yeah. Going down the highway. <laughs> rootin' tootin' highway. Rootin' tootin' highway. Pee. <laughs> I saw that on Reddit. 
dude. <laughs> he? Why is that? Is that because do the, in the game do they just lower for the for for the mega guy? Do they just like lower the pitch? Is that why it sounds like that? Yeah, I think they lower the pitch, and I think they just cut off the part where he says "ka." Dude, Gabby's fucking stand up video fucking popped off. Dude, Dude I know. She's had like so many videos just like go fucking crazy. I'm so happy for her. Um, Dude, Noah was telling me, Noah Sampson, he was telling me he's never had a video not be one out of 10. What? Yeah, he's like, I'm just like constantly getting, he's like, I've never had like anything less than like a one or a two. And because uh, I was telling him like the video I posted with Gabby was like a nine out of 10 and it still is. And I'm just like so confused. And uh, he was like, yeah, I've never had one that's like less than a one. And I'm very scared of it. And I was like, yeah, it sucks. Bro, when I get a four or higher, I'm, a, I'm jumping for joy, dude. These days, especially. Oh, I was going to say, if I get anything less than like a three, I'm sad. Even a three, I'm like, yeah. No, I've had way too many really low ones where now I'm just taking anything that's higher than a five. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Um, but also, like, I do, I don't know, some videos I know aren't going to do well, but at least main channel. Yeah. But main channel's been going on the uppity up. Yeah, dude, your main channel's fucking burning the fucking gas. I think camera. fucking... I think, uh... Yeah, this one's rocking a... Can I switch the screen? Yeah, it's rocking a four. It's rocking a hard four. Right under yeah. number three, too. And that oh, yeah, video. Like 3K different. Yeah, that video, the streamer one, ended up at like 700 or 800K. Oh, that was good. Wait, where's the. Oh, the Tate one is now going up. Oh, oh. They're going to see that I have five. Subscribers, watch time hours. No, really? That seems low. No, it was like it was like a crazy. It was like it's a very. Different I was gonna number. say. I was like with my second channel, it was like five thousand watch time hours. No, it doesn't. It has like forty thousand. Watch Andrew Tate's new music video. We gotta finish this. There's a new one. I, I got a Bugatti. I got a little hutty in my Bugatti. Whoa. That's it. Yeah. Don't you dare talk about water. Dude, this is a grown ass uh, man, dude. Yeah. Don't you dare talk about water. Come on! <laughs> dude! You got your lighter out for the encore. How do you shut a Zippo lighter without, like, without it looking lame? What do you mean? It always looks cool to shut a Zippo lighter because it goes... Not when I do it. So you light it, and then what do you mm -hmm. do? Close it. What? Just close it. I was trying to do it with one hand. Do you have your monkey lighter next to you? Uh, it's over here. Wait, no, it's over here. I don't know how to do it. I don't have fucking fluid in it though. People are saying flick my wrist, but it's not working. No, these ones are too tight. Yeah, you can't flick your wrist to close got, it. Like, I think that's just the issue. Because if you close it like really, if you do it really hard, but then if you have a flame out, it's kind of hard to do that. She would never be with me. Dude, my little thingy is so tight. <laughs> oh my god, what We're a mistake. Right, of the sentence. last guy on earth. I'm dumb, she's a lesbian. I thought I had found the one. What? We were oh, good as still. married in my mind, but married in my mind's no good. Sorry, I'm seeing Weezer right now. Everyone's saying Weezer in chat. Uh, guys, I have asthma. I Sometimes I'm going to breathe a little bit harder to the mic, but you can't. Yeah. It's body shaming and ableist, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> you guys don't even know. You guys don't even know. Dude, like, 
of all like you know how it's like stressful if someone puts out like like a big video about you or like says some shit about you but to just have like a raw clip like this out on the internet and It'd there's be like this embarrassing dude like like in real life just imagine having a clip like this out and just like going and trying to meet people and trying oh God, to like dude. have like friends and stuff like if i had a friend and a video like that came out i would not have that friend anymore yeah it would be embarrassing to to be with that person you know no it's like mortifying so i'm like dude what if like i don't know i just don't know how you even live life like with something like this out there without constantly you can look them up and it's just gonna show up like this is yeah i mean i think it would be kind of hard unless you knew his youtube name yeah but i'm just That's saying like people advantage. online and like every like the public yeah. in general but even mm -hmm. yeah even just going out there and as people like as you try to like get closer with people you have to like there's <laughs> some point in time where like that needs to come up so but also I like i don't i think it's safe to assume that jeremy does not go out and yeah. talk to people because this is what he does in his spare time <laughs> his little head i know <laughs> The P, the P. I I don't even know what to say. The P. Uh, don't don't talk about water. Don't don't talk about water. He's so fucking sloshed. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Dude, this is so bad. It's get, it's so sad too. It's so embarrassing. Get to the piss, man. Nick looks just like Buddy Holly. Oh, oh, Ethan's Mary Tyler Moore. Except I would probably look more like Buddy Holly if I had my old glasses. Well, I have classes. Classes? At what school? Did George Lucas go to the school you would go to? Did George Lucas go to um, <clears throat> Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee? Nope. Good. That school sucks. I want to he do a big hit piece on that school and take it down. Imagine just taking down a private university. Canceling a private university. They didn't do anything that wrong to me. I could never do that. <laughs> I just don't like the school. I just think it sucks. Thanks for all the Weezer in the chat. You guys are you a guys bunch are of nerds fucking... in my in my What's audience. with these homies dissing Weezer? What do you got a front? What? what am I doing right now? What oh. did we ever do to these guys that made them so violent? Ooh. And you I know I made the final round. Somebody else, made ten subs. Somebody else made 10 subs. I made it the final round. 10 subs? What? Someone knows me 10 subs. I made Not it. Not to be so bad, though. Dude, Time he's like incoherent. How angry my bladder is. You guys don't know. It's going to explode. My bladder's going to blow. <laughs> my bladder's going to blow. Nobody's been eliminated either. Get up. Is it Get up. Him? No. Oh, dude. He's like a full he grown man, dude. I know. He's Isn't he a father? Does he have kids? I think he might. Uh, it's lighter i just it doesn't fit in my hand the right way i think my hands are fucked up i think you just gotta gotta practice with it have you ever had a zippo lighter before ah. oh for the love of god what are you, ah. what, what are you, how are you doing that just like just like put your finger on the top and just close it like that yeah it just feels weird but it's the way you got to do it, because, like, if you try to, like, close it with your fucking... Th oh, my God. I don't, I don't <laughs> All right, closing is. my lighter now. <laughs> oh, my this God. This is so funny to me. You can do this, so... This... Yep. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Did I ever tell you the story about when I lived across the street from these neighbors that during Christmas time, they would just play Christmas music from speakers outside of their house 24 seven. What? 
And there were two houses that did it on the block, and they were like competing always, and they did not like each other. That's safe. And they'd play the music loud. They both would play music outside their house. Yeah, so like imagine like three in the morning, like Jingle Bell Rock. This is hello. No, not sorry. No, that's not a fucking Christmas song. Jingle Bell, Jingle song. Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah, Christmas imagine street. Jingle Bell Rock at three in the morning, and then across the street they got Fro Frosty the Snowman. And they're both playing at a volume you can hear from your bedroom in a house. But they're playing at the same time, so nobody fucking... Sabrina said, sorry, that was my house. <laughs> Sabrina's house be playing the Grinch song. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Ethan, what was I going to say? Something about my interesting story. Did you live in a sitcom a little bit? There were Sometimes. two different houses. They competed. The only oh, this is what I was gonna say. The only song you'd be hearing from my house is "I I Caught Mommy Kissing Santa Claus." What does that mean? <laughs> are you the mommy or are you Santa Claus in this analogy? Oh, Ethan. Does your mom kiss Santa Claus? Do you ever remember? Do you remember the song "Santa Baby"? Uh, that sucks <laughs> fucked up. You guys sipping on Jeremy's great drop shipped coffee? No, but I think his coffee company is very funny. Also, did you know that Alex Jones sells coffee from socialist Zapatistas from Mexico? Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, he, he's like they're the they're the real freedom fighters, brother. Some people like to like to talk shit on the on the Zapatistas, but they do grow some damn good coffee. And it's like, okay, Alex. So he literally profits off of the system that he claims is like doesn't you claim work. you claim to hate socialism and yet you buy the zapatista bean <laughs> the zapapista zapapista so, um oh what was i gonna say santa baby oh do you remember is it santa baby the one that they did it's like the horny ass one don't leave one? this tab we gotta finish this video <laughs> what was the one okay here what was the one the song where um the song where they did like a, a modern version of it that was like not problematic but it was like so bad the one where they're like come inside baby oh baby, baby oh baby it's is cold, cold outside. outside updated version i didn't even know that love, love hard? hard no that's not right <laughs> do you guys okay i was telling my chat this the other night D did you oh here do you know is. that you know hosier oh, it's john legend oh no um well it's a lot of dislikes <laughs> you know, oh my god uh, i didn't even realize that this is gonna you know be funny go ahead you know hosier right yeah he's big and tall and like really hot and stuff he had one song that people likes and then everyone's like who's that um Take me but, to church. yeah did you know he didn't want that song on the radio when it first came out right because he only wanted um, it in the church sure once you took him there. <laughs> once, once you took him there. Yeah, that song's about wanting to go to church really bad. <laughs> so you can play the song. Yeah. <laughs> Take me to church by Jose. He was like, I don't want this song on the radio. So DJ Mike uh, made a radio edit that's literally like the worst fucking. It's oh, such a night out. About the... Have you heard it before? I don't really remember. I don't I remember. Think, I, I think I've told you about you've it. You've told me about it, but maybe I just. It's like so. It's such a dis dis uh d disrespectful. Like, because the song's literally about like firsthand experience of homophobia, and the beat is like. It's, it's like so bad. Don't play it again. No, we're gonna play it again. Jose is super talented. Has so many great songs. Well, he has one radio hit. Remember when David. Ghetto was like, shout out to George Lloyd and his shout out to family. his family. Yeah, David Ghetto's a classic man. He's done like other shit. Dude, I had a dream. Tattoo. Shout out to George Floyd and his family. My tattoo itch is so bad. Why does it look like that? <laughs> Why is he a flip? So what we're seeing right now is the quartering lost the game of fall, guys, which means he needs to go pee in his basement. There's probably some people that have shown up to stream since the last time we were here and they're very confused mm -hmm. i need to get water too but i forgot he 
you can hear it. <clears throat> Ah, I've literally never lost that round. I've never lost that round. I've oh, he's got the what? Did he? Oh, I was like, did he change hats? But I forgot. There's two different. No, ones. the other. Yeah, we still gotta watch the one where he's wearing the one that says "bad boy." Guys, we're still playing you cringe, you smoke. Guys, get in on this. Yeah. Oh, I just dropped my lighter. Here, while you pick that up, I'm gonna get water. I gotta take you to pick it up. What the hell? I already just done. I'm dumb. Hang on. I gotta go get my water bottle. No, I know. I peed in my basement. I know. I feel really bad for Owen. It's not like he doesn't get paid for this, though, you know? This is his job. So you shouldn't feel bad for him. People should be doing their job in this day and age. So, what do you guys think about, like, 401k sh and shit? Your driver, his name is Murray. <laughs> Murray, yeah. Murray. <laughs> okay, let's finish that. This is it's almost it's I wait. We cringed 11 times. Okay, I don't think I took a hit for that last one. Fuck, I dropped. I've never lost that round. You think he's lost that round before? Ever. <sighs> But I'm ready. Is he I'm peeing right now? right now? I know. I was gonna say. Oh my god. Here we I go. Just peed in my basement. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that is the best sound. I just peed in my basement. <laughs> just peed in my basement. <laughs> the way he goes, I just peed in my basement. That's how you know he's fucking sloshed. Oh That's a god. hit. I just peed in my basement. Bambi, what the F? What's he, he doing? He knocked over my phone off the desk. Isn't that crazy? Oh. In a manner of speaking. What rules, you sons of bitches? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm planning on guys, I tweeted about Keemstar dating a 13 year old or whatever. That's the word. <laughs> That I the verbiage that I used. <laughs> That's my defense in court. I, Your Honor, I said or whatever. You did say or whatever, which is like a good ten year buffer. Yeah. So I was hoping <laughs> I would uh, maybe get suspended for a day because of that. Not hoping, but I was considering the possibility, and then I was going to make a second <laughs> channel video fully reenacting the Jordan Peterson uh, <laughs> Twitter thing. But I would obviously just make it about what I was banned about. I was going to get, like, I had my green screen. I was going to make the same backdrop. I was going to rent a suit. Dude, that would have been awesome. But I think it's just made a bunch of people who really like Keemstar mad. There's people that like Keemstar? Dude, I sent one to you on Twitter. I was like, dude, why are there Keemstar defenders? Oh, yeah. Dude, that and was one guy wild. was like, haven't you literally been convicted for child abuse? And I think he was trying to say, like, do the same thing I was doing, which is lying as a joke. But the difference is that would be completely out of character for me. Yeah, you start dating a 13 year old. History. Yeah, there's like a pattern that would make that not unexpected, which yeah. is my point. Like <laughs> The joke is that he dates young girls. Yeah, the joke is that none of us would be really all that surprised. Dude, that's that so funny that. just to be like, he's dating a 13 year old like like a fucking eighth grader <laughs> like he's like 40 dude like he's so old he's so old and like someone linked a picture of his girlfriend it's like she has braces and shit which is like oh, no, she shit, does no have shade. braces yeah no shade to people who have braces but it's like it does make you look younger and um and he has a tendency of dating people who look very young and specifically has said openly that he wants to date people who are very young um 
don't remember 9-11, which means you could be like 24 max. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. And she's 21. She's younger than both of us. 21. Or he wants someone who's nice. old with a horrible memory. Yeah. It's like a grandmother who... I don't want to keep doing that joke. <laughs> No, not in the kitty litter. Just uh, in he didn't the... even do it in his cat's litter box. <laughs> not that I prefer him to. That, that would be so fucking weird. <laughs> that would be so bizarre. Imagine, imagine he's like, it's like overflowing the litter box. <laughs> yeah, because it would be, it would be so much piss. Like, it's just like a fucking, <laughs> it's covering over. Like a pool. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> he would totally do it. He's like, oh, my cat pisses in this thing all the time. Fucking unloads two gallons. Drain. <laughs> in the drain. Look, if you want to watch a streamer that wants to pee in the potty, go watch someone else. When you're a he also has, like, I don't know how many people are watching him, but there's, like, one chat every, like, I don't know how that even happens because he's, like, popular, kind of. Watching PewDiePie play this is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> also, this grown ass man just said potty. Potty. If you want to watch a streamer that goes on the potty, goes pee on the potty. <laughs> a streamer that pee goes in the, in the potty. potty. Pro gamer Let's like go me. Pee in the yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a dude that if you want to watch a dude that's going to piss in the fucking. What is he saying, dude? He's so drunk. Also, he has sub alerts, and this is the first time we've seen one. Oh, true. Or like me. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a dude that also like that, that's no shade to people who aren't getting a lot of viewers on Twitch. It's just the no, fact no, that we're making fun of him because he has a million subscribers on YouTube and is getting like six people in this fucking chat, like six active people. Yeah, does anyone know of any streamers that pee in the potty? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do this, want to piss in the fucking uh, overflow tank in his base basement? That's who I am. He pissed in the overflow tank in his basement. You know how, like, public restrooms will have, like, a fucking drain in the ground? I'm guessing he has something like that. Oh, yeah, that's definitely what it is. It's the old, Like a creepy yeah. basement drain, yeah. Dude, how weird is that? Oh, it's gross, and it doesn't go anywhere. It just, like, sinks into the ground, so, like, his basement's gonna smell like piss forever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're a dude that... If you want to watch a dude that's going to piss in the fucking uh, overflow tank in his base basement, that's who I am. You know? He's got something wrong with him. I'm not taking a pause to pee. But he did, though. It was just a little shorter than it would have been. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, dude. I've seen this before. Oh, this is awesome. Is this some sort of parody? I mean, you've already liked yeah, it. Yeah, you so got that song. No, I just liked it now because I thought it would be. I thought it'd be cool, so I just liked it now. No, it was already liked. Well, if you could say that one second ago, that it was already liked. How do you look so much younger? <laughs> My you hair was shorter. Same, was, I, I, yeah. It was, it was it's red. All the hair. Why is it red? Did you dye it? I dyed it, and then I dyed it purple, and then the purple faded, and it was like... My hair was bronzed from the, the bleach. I, my, my hair was fucked, dude. It was bad. I love that shirt. Oh, yeah. This is really good, though, like, legitimately. Thank you. I used to put so much more time into my videos. Well, I'm just, like, thinking back to, like, like, how far you've come with your music in general and, like, how good your stuff is now. And it's, like, even for, like, how you, like, you were, you've always been good, but, like, this, like, for where you were at this time, is like, I was wow. pretty proud like, of this, because I just, like... Yeah, you put so much effort into it. Because I just, like, tried so hard to to reenact... Mm -hmm. uh, to reenact the same instrumental from the original song, because I, like, recreated the instrumental, and it sounds so clean. I don't know how yeah. I got it to sound so real. Yeah, it sounds it sounds so much like, uh, like the actual song, but boom, somehow... Boom. I know, I think it might be better, dude. Is this Danny singing? Yeah, Nick knew Danny at this time, actually. June this has 13,000 views. Yeah. 
Lemon cow. I think this is the third you cringe you smoke episode where I, this has come up. The third out of three. No, out of all of them. Out of the ones, oh, the ones done you've done by yourself, too. too, yeah. I can't believe I did this when no one was watching me. That was a full I know this much adult. effort. Well, and I looked like an idiot. Hey! 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 And I recorded all this stuff in Minecraft myself. I know, I was just gonna say. I really had nothing to do that summer. Well, that was during COVID. You made a bunch of great little songs just for fun. I love Austin that. and I made a lot of like funny ones, especially back in the day. We had a lot of like back in the day. I mean, back on the. I mean, it's. It's a deal with that guy. I used to have a song video. for everything. We had a. Guitar Hero 2009. Vocals into the mix. Did I have a song? I put a. Did I have a song in this video? No, was it? No, it was this one. I don't even remember what this sounds like. Um, oh, it's asking, where's your head at? Oh! Guys, I really think this is gonna work. I'm gonna go grab the closest studio musician where's your head at? and record a hit song. Vader in the Zims. Skating with my friends with scraping knees and doing kickflips all the time. I'm alright. Five years later, old and faded. Oh, I really miss it. Did I die? What a sign. But I know there's something for me in the afterlife. Get me in the park before I die. I'm skating with Jesus. <laughs> I can't believe I put so much effort into my shit. <laughs> I like how you're not skating with a real guitar. <laughs> Why does it go kind of hard? Because it's good. <laughs> Should it go there? I think we had a song in... Did we have a song in this one, too? Yeah, there was a song in this one. Brain is <laughs> I don't like this one that much. We never needed to elect the next president of the United States. He was right here the whole time. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's, that shit's good. That's awesome. I was proud of that one. I gotta, should be. I gotta throw that on TikTok or something. Yeah, yeah. I loved this video because I put, I did like all these little TV bits in the beginning. I just made up a bunch of stupid shit, and I always wanted to make another one of these. I'm Anthony Scabs. Thousands <laughs> die from heart conditions every single oh, oh my gosh. What's wrong? Do you know how help? do you know how to fix a bullet wound? Yeah, yeah. I can do that for well, you. Well you're gonna need to know for for yourself. Oh. So up next for you collectors out there, I've got my captain amiibo. So then I said to him, the number seven is one letter off even, but the number's not even. <laughs> I'm Josh Treadmill. Let's get into it. <laughs> and that's why Nerf and Strike for the Wii is one of the most innovative shooter titles out there. If you're watching this, you're probably a world famous rap artist who has it all. Jewelry, models, cars, drugs? Could anything possibly be better? Well, I'll tell it's you my what. Tongue With our product, Gangsters <laughs> to Gamers, we can give you even more. 
Have you ever wished that you could shapeshift, fly, go to different planets? Fly. Or maybe even something more simple, like legal murder with the push of a button. Call us right now and we can put you in a video game. The possibilities are I love are Josh Treadmill. We put dozens of rappers This is my be this is my Beto O'Rourke. You in a video game. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Hand motions. We put dozons of rappers in Oh, video true. Meek Mill to Kanye West to Eminem. Did you see Beto O'Rourke called someone you? a motherfucker? I heard, yeah. God, that guy sucks, dude. He's such a faker. <clears throat> I know. I don't like him. I used to have a. I mean, the guy did shirt. laugh at the Uvalde shooting, and he was like, "It may be funny to you, motherfucker, but it's not to me." So it's like I can kind of see if he actually got upset, but it yeah. feels it still feels calculated. I mean, he just always has those things like right before, like he's done it every single time right before an election. Like it's happened three or four times now. Yeah, because like, I used to, I used to really like him. I had a better work shirt, and then he sucked. And so I stopped doing that. I actually mm -hmm. threw that shirt away. I would keep it. <laughs> Not me. Due to one of our Dude, uh, do you think there's some Mayor Pete merch on Depop? <laughs> do you think they still got Jeb merch out there? Because Jeb merch kind of goes shit. hard. <clears throat> Jeb, Jeb Bush. Okay, we're finally back to the Star Wars video. <clears throat> March on Tallahassee, March 7th, 2000, the Coalition of Conscience. Are you what rapping right fuck? now? <laughs> no, it's just this shirt I found on Depop. This is like March on Tallahassee, 2007. I kind of want it. <clears throat> it, was a, it was a civil rights protest Jeb Bush t-shirt, size XL. It's $121. <laughs> $121? The fuck, The way you split it, I love four into thirty-two. Dude, you and I actually made a song, a parody song of our own. Uh, I never finished lady, it. I butterfly know. lady. We gotta, we gotta fucking do it again. Maybe we, wait. Let's perform it. Wait, wait. Let's pull up the lyrics and see, it and you get the instrumental. Well, you won't really be able to perform it because it's not gonna be like synced up. <laughs> I mean, you can try wait. though. I think you should still do, try. Wait. Listen to the Take Me to Church radio edit. That'd be a good cover. Is this it? Oh, DJ Mike, yeah. Yeah, you gotta... Yeah. Tell us your story, Jose. Take us to church. She's a giggle at a funeral. Everybody's this is such a like somber sad song i, I know Everybody. and like with this fucking and like this is all this fucking dj mike did is just take the lyrics and like raise the tempo and put the fucking gym beat behind it the planet fitness type beat shout out to Ka kaleidoscope ia mali kaleidoscopia milia Amelia, kaleidoscopy Amelia. Okay. The heavens ever did speak. She's the last She's true mouth. Every Sunday's getting more bleak. Fresh poison each week. And, re we and remember, this is what they did because he didn't want it on the radio. My church offers no absolute. She tells me worship in the bedroom. It is pronounced Hosier. Really? I thought it was Hosier. I'm I mean, not going to pronounce it like that, because that makes me sound stupid. Yeah, because then people are going to make fun of me for pronouncing it hosier, because I've done that before. I'm not going to get yeah. tricked again. <laughs> I'm sure it is pronounced like that, but people are going to call me stupid if I don't pronounce it like that. <laughs> Peaked. Yeah, I mean, it probably does, because it's some random-ass channel that uploaded it. So it could DJ just be Mike the, Radio Edit. It just could be the MP3. Wait, what was I about to look up? Uh, we were gonna redo the butterfly lane. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, don't look at that. That's my case no. of my script. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. <laughs> Before this Sunday, I mean Monday. This Sunday. guy Rice's fucking brand deals down. I don't do stuff like that. You just you just come up with it off the top of your head. I mean, based on whatever is the in the fucking talking. But you point just like me. make up anything. Um, the problem? No, no, no. Radioactive instrumental. 
Also, Nick, I love you. You're so great. Like, you're one of the only people in the world who would jam out with me to the radio edit of the Take Me to Church. Yeah, I love you too, man. Thanks. I appreciate <laughs> that. That's a, that's a moment for us. Yeah, I'm going to miss that. Oh, oh, I remember the lyrics. got to show them to me. Oh, yeah. Here they are. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna be like so off because of the delay. It's gonna be so and funny. I, and I don't remember how this how how it goes. You, you, oh, oh, this is inspired by S- Sekirai. <laughs> Sekirai. I'm waking, I'm waking up to this girl boss. I use my blade and I spurt my blood. I'm dying twice. She's butterflies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm fighting her and fearing If I had a team I'd be carrying This is it, the second phase Shwee! I'm hitting her I'm hitting with my sword I want to win to move forward Welcome to the boss fight To the boss fight Welcome to the boss fight To the boss fight Whoa! Whoa! My hair is wet from all my sweat. Whoa. Oh. You're me. Counter her. I just realized you can't do that. Now I'm dead after resurrecting. <laughs> Slice. 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 With my blade. With my blade. Can I die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Earth is low, low, low. It will take, it will take just, just one, one more blow. Now, now I'm gonna be her. Gonna be her. Now I'm gonna be her. Gonna be her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm beating the lady. Butterfly lady. Lady. Yeah. Was I really that off? It Somebody was said like how by over so a second. <laughs> it was like, because the Discord delay. Someone linked it. Yeah, wait, here, I'll play it for you. Oh my god, it's so off. It's like so, it was so off. It was so funny. Wow. It was like almost awesome. a full, like a full line. It's after. like a full measure, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, I mean, for me, I was perfectly on time. And yeah, Nick for and I you, were everything sounded insane. great. You yeah. had, like, such a good experience because you were like, yeah, rock it out. And for everyone else, you're like, uh, what the fuck? Like, so off. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was really fun. Okay. It hurts my, it hurts my voice. It's so out of my register. I know. I was just <laughs> singing in my little Kermit falsetto voice the whole time. I know. It sounds better than my falsetto. Butterfly lady, butterfly lady. It's the same. <laughs> Wait, I've never heard a better harmony in my life. What's this clip? Hold on, let me click it. Is it Art of Zeke's clip? I think so. My goal. <laughs> yeah. Prep for the fight. One face to go. Twice cannot die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. That's 
such a bad delay. Dude, we're so fucked. Every time, like, <laughs> another one of those, like, incel guys gets mad at us, they can just, like, play this gonna... like this, and, like, we're fucked. Like, we look like idiots, too. <laughs> we look so stupid. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I fucking look awesome. We're such meatheads, dude. We're just a couple of meatheads, dude. My you head's me. not made of meat. It's not. Don't say that. Well, it has some in there. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. I Let's can't believe, it. like, we were literally in sync on my end. That's so funny. <laughs> I w I really wanted it to sound to sound great for you. It did. You know. Yeah. Let's see how this is gonna work out for them because according. You see what I mean when we're thirty seconds. <laughs> we've only seen thirty seconds of the main video, <laughs> but we've done so much else. We've done. We've gone on a journey. This also, is what I love about brand being high. coffee. Yeah, so this is his coffee brand coffee. Dot co what does that mean? Let me look at his website. Let's let's see his uh, Squarespace template. Do you think it's called coffee brand coffee? What does yeah. that mean? It's coffee, no woke bullshit. Yeah, look, literally what I just said. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Ready, Ready to ditch gimmick coffee? This is literally our gimmick, gimmick is that we're really yeah, we have no gimmick. Simply great coffee. They're like trying to do the minimalist thing and it just doesn't, it's not, it's not working. Think about it. You can get coffee one or coffee two or coffee three. Yeah, no one wants coffee, coffee one or two or three or four, <laughs> dude. I want cool names. I want Cassandra's Coco or Mo Murray's Mocha Latte. <laughs> Somebody said they look like paint test strips. They do. They look like paint swatches. Like what? I don't care. Like. Uh, I just why do and like people... look at all these like fun stock images that are definitely not this no this, this is their warehouse this is where they make the coffee mm. <laughs> this is where we make the coffee <laughs> and this is uh this is Murray our coffee guy <laughs> wholesale and corporate oh can we be affiliate marketers oh gross ah! Jesus Lord God, of mercy. he's got something wrong with them There's something off I think we have to take him out. After years of waking scroll up, after years of sitting on the sidelines and watching powerless, powerlessly as everything from big budget Disney movie to ice cream and even comic books forced politics onto their customers in ways that best divided them and at worst outright attacked them, founder Jeremy Hamley the, decided. There's no, there's no punctuation. <laughs> I know. He's such also, a fucking his name's idiot. Fucking Jeremy Hamley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm founder Jeremy Hambly. No wonder he goes by <laughs> the quartering. You, yeah. you always ask, why would you go by the quartering? Horrible name. And then you realize his name is Jeremy Hambly. And it's like, oh, the quartering is like Leonardo DiCaprio when you compare it to Jeremy Hambly. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Hambly. It's so funny that that is one sentence. <laughs> At worst, outright attacked them. Founder Jeremy Hambly decided to do something about it. <laughs> I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to sell some coffee. <laughs> no tweets about International Men's Day. No tweets about International Women's Day. We may celebrate International Cat Day. Just tweets about our coffee and how nearly 20 new flavors are developing. About our upcoming tea line <laughs> and even sentence. hot cocoa. I know. We don't want your vote. What do you mean? <laughs> are other coffee brands trying to get our vote? What does that even no mean? No fucking idea, dude. It's coffee, I mean, like... Yeah, what coffee company is being, like, woke? Like, you could say that about, like, other things, but not coffee. I don't know what the fuck coffee... The only coffee I know is, like, the gun rifle coffee that Steven Crowder sells. Yeah. And it's so... I mean, and literally, like, I know it goes without saying, but the fucking idea of this being an, an apolitical coffee brand when it's literally all political, the whole point yeah, of Yeah, coffee it is... is sourced from fucking Central and South America. Well, just the fact that his his the whole reason he made it is like an yeah, anti-liberal thing, and he's yeah. like, "No bullshit coffee. There's no politics attached to this." And it's like, it's no, it's a right wing. You have politics attached to you, so you and yeah. the, the brand's political, and you even say in here, Disney movies to uh, to ice cream and even comment. Like, what do you think you're talking about, dude? Right. <laughs> like, like he's talking about he's talking about big gay ice cream is the best. <laughs> big, big gay ice cream. We gotta play. Have you ever seen my? Uh, my fan cam I made for for uh Michael Bloomberg. For Michael Bloomberg. No, I gotta see it now. 
It was one of my first TikToks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what did I say at the beginning of all my videos? Dude, we passed really long hair Nick era. Oh god. When you had like really long hair, like last year. Oh, here it is. When marimba rhythm starts to play, dance with me. Oh my god. That's awesome. <laughs> Is this genuine? I can't tell. I love this too, because like, it reminds me of something I'd see on like Eric Andre, like in between fucking bits. <laughs> Derek said he's kind of hot though. What's Derek? that about? Derek's girlfriend said woke king. What's that about? Do you think they like him? Yeah, I think they're trying to vote for him. I also made this one too. Wait, where is it? <laughs> it's called mining. It's called we do a little mining. <laughs> we do a little mining. It's called we do a little mining. It's called we do a little mining. I love mining. Mining and crafting. Minecraft. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, I was just getting a big heaping gulp of water. Hang on, I gotta play pool on my iPhone. My friend is too good at the iPhone pool. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> He's always fucking kicking my ass on this. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, oh, I got one in on accident. Dude, you're a goofball. I'm fucking gonna end my own life. Have you guys seen my Crazy Frog Penis song? Dude, wait, you made a TikTok about if Crazy Frog has a penis? <laughs> yeah, originally this was uncensored, but they yeah, the ticket got taken down. Dude, I made a TikTok. One of my first TikToks is about Crazy Frog having a penis. Dude, it, that's awesome. Like, for real, that's so weird. This that's one such never a really popped point. off. It should have popped off. My, yeah, I mean, this is way better than mine. He's got a Hulk and penis. Um, He's got a Hulk and penis. That's always sticking out, guys. <sighs> he really does. He, he does. Fucking, I mean, you can see the edge of it. That. You can see the edge of it in the video. I mean, look. Yeah. There's his balls. You can see his shaft, the bottom of the shaft. Yeah, it's not perfect sense. See, look. Well, I left a couple frames in there because it's <laughs> just for a tree. See, you can see this the peen sticking out. Yeah. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, I I really went frame by frame, but I left a couple. I left a little to be desired. A, yeah, a little to the imagination. I mean, look at that. Oh, hey! <laughs> I mean, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot swinging around. Yeah. Why would they ever do that? It's crazy to me that they just gave him a, a, a an outright penis. I just think it's different in different cultures. I think I thought Crazy Frog was an American thing. No, it's like Swedish or whatever. Am I thinking of the teddy bear song or gummy bear song? Yeah, I think you're thinking of the gummy bear song. I'm a gummy bear. Because Crazy I'm Frog has that the Twitter now. Swedish CGI animation. What did uh, I tell you? So they do penis what stuff the over there, you fuck? think? It's made by Eric Rehmquist. There, Can there's... you show this on the stream? Yeah, dude, it's just a cartoon frog penis. He's Is not he even circumcised human. or like what's up with that? 
I don't want to get if we talk too much. We just can't talk about it as if it's sexual. That's the rule. I think we have to talk about it purely from a <coughs> biological. Analytical. Yeah, like as long as we don't talk about anything that has to do with sex when we talk about the frog's penis, we're gonna be fit. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. What are you gonna say about the penis? Is it circumcised and does it collect smegma? <sighs> <laughs> I'm not it's not sexualizing it. I'm curious. Yeah, because <laughs> So did you is oh are you did you read a text on your phone that was funny or something? No, I was laughing at you resuming in on the Google tab. What's funny? What's, <clears throat> there's nothing funny about the pe it's not about the penis though, is what you're saying. No, it was okay. about something else. Cool, yeah. So it seems like from this angle his penis is do you think it's not circumcised and the foreskin's going completely around the top and it's and, but mm, it's but that's it, what i was thinking but it's flush because of the animation yeah i mean or it just could be like like his penis is almost in some sort of egg sac that needs to be punctured for it to release you didn't, need, you didn't have to say that ethan you didn't I, have to say well that. you asked me do you not want me to answer your question I think it might just be like a little uvula. What's with his his leg spots seem to have faded? Maybe it's some kind of disease. In this one, they're protruding from the body. Is he like wearing a bullet helmet? <laughs> yeah, it really has a dome to it. Yeah. I mean, That's I think crazy. the thing with the penis, it's just that and his hands are bizarre. Oh my god. Yeah. He's got these bizarre hands. Oh no, it's still there. We gotta we, let's watch. What if you video. woke up and this thing was sitting was standing like this across the room from you? I saw that damn thing in my living room. They didn't put a I penis on the <laughs> Imagine if this one had yeah. the penis. That would be awesome, dude. You could pull on it and it would honk. <laughs> dude, that was not necessary. You didn't have to do that. Or it would like dispense candy or something. Look, and the official art has it blurred, so it's like, why is it why does he have a penis? It just um, doesn't make sense. He's got a penis and balls. He's got balls too. I'm just gonna zoom out. I'm I'm looking at his face. Yeah, what do you think he stores in his balls? Is that because his penis doesn't seem to like function? It doesn't have like a hole for. <laughs> well, it could have a release. hole. Could have a hole. I, mean, I guess it would have to be like underneath though, because I don't see it. It's been. It is flush. Yeah, it's definitely flush. I mean, the character model in itself is flush, so I guess. <sighs> Maybe he just poops it all out, and that's what, just for show. Come. Okay, let's just... You didn't answer my question. No, let's just move along. Okay. Why um, does crazy frog have a penis? You gotta finish the Star Wars video. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Okay, finally, and we're back. We, we got two seconds Jesus, further. how did that happen? How did that happen? We got distracted by the coffee. Now there's nothing on the screen to distract us except for uh, all of the weird right-wing uh, social medias he has. On the top. <laughs> Mines, yeah. everyone's favorite. You're, Odyssey. Yeah. The f Gilded. Dude, they all, like... Right Wim Wham. The right wingers are just, like, so bad at design. Like... I know. They the, are. Like, it's so funny. Are these boys still watching the same video? <laughs> we only got 30 seconds into it. <laughs> if you feel Shaw, the new Star Wars series, Andor... Will quote be great? <laughs> a great. He can't even talk, dude. <laughs> He's like he can't even talk. He can't. He's like so. I'm like, why are you delivering a news story while you're under the influence? It's just bizarre. And or will quote. Lives. Yeah, it might be also great. A great take on the Trumpian. It doesn't even say that. I'm like, what? Are you going crazy? He's like a. He's like a great, a 
great take. He didn't even try to say scurrilous. Scurrilous? No, he just like skipped that word. I think it he was, was like, too hard that. for him. He's like, I'm not saying that. Shaw, the new Star Wars series Andor will quote be great. <laughs> a great take on the Trumpian. <laughs> Like, he could have just read what was written, and it would have been easier. He tried to, like, paraphrase, that and he was made it wild. work. That was so funny. Be great. Uh, be <laughs> as a great take on the Trumpian world. I'm, I'm cringing, guys. We're still playing the game. It's the longest you cringe yeah. you smoke so far. Can he not edit this out? I think he does these live, but he could have edited it before he posted it. You could have just restarted the sentence. That too. And also, if he does do these, if he doesn't do these live, I don't know what the fuck his overlay is or why it's like this. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. That's so funny. Like, it's why, like, you don't need, imagine if I had, had my, my hats, like my new hats that I'm trying to sell. I had yeah. that big of a box on screen and it's like, get my hat, buy my Dude. stuff. That'd be so funny. Check and then you had your out. name on the bottom of the screen and your logo in the bottom left of the screen and all your social media is on the top of the screen. And then you were just a little guy in the corner. <laughs> I mean, what are we if not little guys in the corners? Always, brother. Play. In world, the showrunner created a whole new morality. <laughs> Dude. I don't know what that means and neither do you. <laughs> a whole new like, morality what does that that's mean? not exactly like why do you think that means anything a whole new morality there it is folks drop the mic yeah yeah exactly he's like there yeah they it. said it they said it out loud they're saying the quiet part out loud they're creating a whole new morality what could possibly that what could that even mean a whole new <laughs> like i think that that quote sounds out of context, like a new concept of morality in the Star Wars universe or something. You know, yeah. I think, dude, he he almost doesn't know how to say morality, so he just like takes the a Trumpian second. world. The showrunner created a whole new morality. Interesting. I can't <laughs> wait. I mean, sign me up. I suppose if the if uh, if they had chosen Biden. It would just be a dude. You could never catch me like you could never catch me talking about a political thing and sounding this insecure and unsure about what I'm trying to say. Like I would not. Yeah. I would not put out a video where like I'm that not articulate about unarticulate. Is that a word? Inarticulate. Where I'm not in. I don't know. Who cares? Well, you're not like actually well spoken about what you're care like. He, he doesn't even give a shit. He doesn't even care no. about what he's talking about. He's, just, the he's grift. just like, he's just doing the grift. He's just phoning it in. He's drunk. The world of hyper. There you have it. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Inflation, I suppose, it is. instead of hyper speed. Oh wait, go back. Hold that on. was a really this good joke. This is zinger, a zinger. I suppose if they if uh, if they had chosen Biden. It would just be a world of hyperinflation, I suppose, instead of hyperspeed. Yeah. Fucking crickets, dude. Oh my Got god. Him. Got him. Let's go, Brandon. Dude. Dark Brandon Ryan. World of hyperinflation, I suppose, instead of hyperspeed. I can't even believe this story is real, but it is super real. And we're going to get into it after a super quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this yes. video sponsor. Established titles. Established titles. <laughs> of course. Is that the Lord one? Yeah. Good thing you didn't work with them. I know. I think they actually did offer me something. I didn't know they worked with them. Yeah, how embarrassing. Lord Jeremy from the quartering. I'm definitely not fucking working with them now. Yeah, fuck that. Unless they give you a lot of money. Unless they give me a lot of money. No, guys. If I ever do a sponsorship for established titles, you could just post this clip of me and cancel me that's right i'm like i'll do it you're gonna do us you you would do one yeah i'll cancel you oh i thought <laughs> i'll do it i mean like you know how many brands work with shitty people that we probably I mean, work yeah. with i mean it's just a it's a youtube wide thing you don't really have a choice right i just feel like the quartering is a special case 
Yeah, because I'm Cause like, he's... why would anyone ever fucking give him money? Yeah, and it's so he's so blatant with his bigotry. Yeah. The ladyship pack. That gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a currently 10% off any Dude, purchase you guys can you get one square foot. The quartering. So click the link it's below. So stupid. Go to establishedtitles.com yeah. slash the quartering and use promo code. God, he's such a we fucking know idiot. They're kind, of be, they're kind of partisan. It's literally Fine. like buying a star. There are also. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. It's like all these fucking fat Americans, like. No, no, none of them are gonna go to fucking Ireland or wherever they're selling this land and actually be like, oh, this is it. Because <laughs> it's probably already the... owned Dude, by Lord. someone else. Can you believe that Jer Jeremy the Quartering is a lord? Lord the Quartering? Yeah, we do have to address him that way. <laughs> lord Jeremy, or Lord, I, I like the Lord the Quartering. Yo, Raz, Raz is in chat. Oh my You're god, I haven't touched Raz so long. He owns land. <laughs> He's, he's got a, he's a real homeowner. One time, some guy's dad... A real what? One time, this guy's dad introduced himself to me as the homeowner. I was, like, playing a show with my high school band at his graduation party, and he was like, nice to meet you, I'm the homeowner. And I was like, what the hell? Why would you say that? Yeah, and, you, and then you said, yeah, homeowner. I didn't say that because I'm, I'm a heterosexual, so... But you can say that. <clears throat> Okay. Multiple other people covering this exactly the same way. Here's Empire Online. Here's People's Rights Are Disappearing. Star Wars show introducing Trumpian words. What does this headline even mean? People's Rights Are Disappearing. Star Wars <laughs> show introducing Trumpian world. Why are there so many? Look at how many fucking apostrophes there are on the screen here. <laughs> how many single apostrophes? Fucking, uh, holy crap, dude. Why, what is with, it's like, I'm, I, what does any of this mean? World, inside yeah. the magic. Andor is undoubtedly the most anticipated Star Wars series since the Mandalorian. No, it isn't. With, nah, that's not true uh, at all. Uh, yeah, it's not. Season two, with the is anyone excited for it? Are you excited for it? You're like a big. I'm fan excited for it in like a weird. You like Andor? Like, no, um, I hate Rogue One, but no, I'm you like, don't like Rogue did... One. No, I think that movie fucking sucks. Oh, I actually but... like that movie. Okay, uh, what are one of the characters' names? Uh, Andor. <laughs> Dude, it's not even about what's that. The, what's his first name? Uh, I think it's like Chris. <laughs> Dude, I don't care. I don't know the names of any of the Star Wars characters besides the ones that are fucking branded the on ones every that are... single. Yeah, it's not even the that they're characters. branded. It's they're well written characters. Yeah, but the main characters of Rogue One are nothing. I know. That's my point. But I don't like the other. I don't like the other Star Wars movies that much. So I thought this one looked nice. It was like the best looking one to me. You haven't seen the Last Jedi then, or looked at it, right? No, I did. I actually did watch the whole movie. Yeah, but it looks way better because. The DP on that movie is fucking Steven Yeldon or whatever, and it's great. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It looks way better than Rogue One, in your opinion. Oh, in my okay, yeah. Sorry, yes. I I do. Okay. Yeah. I just think Last Rogue One Jedi, is stupid. I I think like most of Star Wars is pretty stupid. But it it's not though. Okay. Yeah. It's, there are like four good Star five four good Star Wars movies. Dude, this is just you're just telling me your own opinion. I know. Like, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Like it's just a bunch of subjective stuff. No, it's not. There are four I'll... as everyone knows, there are four good Star Wars movies. Everyone it's a write fact. that down in your notebook. It is, it's a fact. No, because I don't remember the plot of any of them. So I don't even like really any of them, to be honest. I like Force times... Awakens. I thought that was pretty fun. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Nick be like, I like Rogue One and Force Awakens. Dude, there's nothing wrong with liking something that you don't like. Yes, there is. Are you excited for Mando season three? Absolutely not. And Ahsoka, even I, I would, if I had the ability to disappear Ahsoka from existence as a character, I would. Because she's a, because fucking... she's a woman. Not that, nope. That's not what I said. Like, that's just how <laughs> Ethan thinks that. I actually love her. 
No, I think Ahsoka in the fucking Clone Wars is fine. And then I think Clone Wars Season Seven's fucking bad. And then I think uh, Dave Filoni loves his own characters and loves to insert them into everything where they don't fucking belong. So where do you think that this, like, you seem to have a stronger opinion or, like, a more harsh, passionate opinion about Star Wars than most other topics? Where do you think that comes from? Uh, it comes from just the nature of Star War, Star War on the internet. Because people get really passionate about it, right? Because they're like, I grew up watching the prequels. And then you tell them, like, okay, what's the plot of the Phantom Menace? And they can't tell you, and then they get mad. That's the... Like, literally what happens in that movie. Anyone want to tell me? Nothing. Because that movie's fucking bullshit. Same with all the prequels. I'm still confused. Like, what's the point? Like, why Why Star Wars specifically? Do you think that that specific uh, fan base... It's just because it's so wide reaching, right? It's got like, there are more people that know and are willing to talk about Star Wars than almost anything else. So like, there's a lot of diversity of opinion. Dude, did I ever tell you like one time I found out that you could look at your Reddit history of what you've downvoted? And I looked at mine and it was all Star Wars posts. <laughs> Dude, that's like crazy. Because I just like, I don't think about Star Wars that much. I've seen all the movies like at least once or twice each or three times right, like, but but also you have to remember that like i've seen all these movies like a million times and then also like one of my favorite movies ever comes out and it's like universally hated by the internet so much that they make a notes app apology version of a movie called the rise of skywalker where they bring back everyone's favorite palpatine and there's literally a line in the movie where poe dameron says somehow palpatine returned we don't know how and also neither does the movie because it's never explained how he comes back. And uh, yeah, it's 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 seeing uh, something that you care about destroyed <laughs> because of Reddit. So did you think did how did you feel about Star Wars from the Phantom Menace up until right before The Last Jedi? I mean, I grew up watching the original movies, right? The four, five, six. And then I watched the prequels a lot as a kid, too. But the prequels are movies that you, when you're a kid, you put on in the background and then you play with your toys um, and you pretend like they're fighting because the movies are boring. And then you watch, I, you know, a couple years ago, watched all of them. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, I had like a religious experience when I watched Return of the Jedi because I was like, this movie is really bad. But also the good parts are really good, um, just like The Last Jedi. But... <laughs> Then I rewatched the prequels and I was like, these are catastrophically inept movies. Yeah, they are like actually like pretty horrific movies. Like every single line of dialogue is wrong. Every single one for one, whether it's a plot reason or a writing reason. They're not camp. They're not even good. They're not on sets. They're, cre they're filmed on blue screens where they just literally CGI'd a hallway because they couldn't fucking... I'm going to pull up a clip. We're going to watch a clip because we need we need an example of, of how stage direction works. OK, so so this is with this Star Wars thing. Yeah, it just seems like I've seen so many people who who are into Star Wars have such strong opinions on it mm -hmm. and I've just never seen it with I don't know another another franchise that has that kind of. Like, there's not even that passionate conversations in, like, the Marvel universe, I don't think. Like, no, because all the Marvel shit's the same, right? But, like, okay, imagine imagine there were some people, the majority of people, that were like, Thor The Dark World is the best movie ever made, and it's a masterpiece. And not only were they, like, super annoying about it, but also Marvel starts tailoring all of their content to those people and starts making more movies like Thor the Dark World because people like it. That's what happened to Star Wars. And the guy that like and there's like a spin-off series called Thor the Animated Series that is like <laughs> okay. And then the guy that wrote that starts writing all these new Marvel shows. Is that the baloney guy? Yeah, David Baloney. 
Yeah. And he starts writing all these new Marvel shows, but he's inserting all of his OCs and characters to hang out with uh, Thor and them. Because that's what he did with Ahsoka. He's like, and Ahsoka's friends with uh, the Mandalorian and friends with Luke Skywalker and friends with Yoda and friends with Darth Vader. And it's very annoying. It's literally like a 40-year-old man writing fucking fan fiction. Man, you really care about this stuff. You think Clone Wars is just okay? Yes, because it's based off of the prequels, which is, is fundamentally like you can't. You can't. Season 7 was so fucking atrocious. Dude, this is like, like we should probably keep watching the video. Like I don't have Wait, any. Look idea. at this clip. Look at this clip. You need to know what I'm talking. Dude, about. I've seen the movies. I agree with you. I think they look like shit. No, 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 no. It's not what they look like. It's the characters. It's the writing. It's everything. I just like you, don't really care about Star Wars that much. Like it's just so goofy to me. We're on our way to make sure. The Listen to the dialogue. Power back to the Senate. He won't give up his power. I've just learned a terrible truth. I think Chancellor Palpatine is a Sith Lord. <laughs> a Sith Lord? This is the twist yes, of the movie. The one we've been looking for. How do you know this? He knows the ways of the Force. He's been trained to use the dark side. This is like a high school play. Absolutely. And our worst fears have been realized. We must move quickly if the Jedi Order is to survive. He said, we must move quickly. And then they start walking. You'll need my help if you're going to arrest her. <laughs> Look how quickly they're moving. This is, he was just told the man who has power over the whole galaxy is the Sith Lord they've been looking for for years. If what you've told me is true, you will have What a miscast, too. But for now, what a horrible cast. Oh my god, like, dude. Wait, Why are I'm gonna you get, so angry? You're I'm gonna get Samuel L. I'm gonna <laughs> dude, like you're I'm, freaking me out for real. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, bro, we're talking about Star Wars. What are we doing here? Because people like this shit. I need Owen to like do one of those montages where it like fades in and in through Ethan just like yelling about Star Wars. Because people defend this. This is like people. Sir, this is some. This is literally some people think this is a masterpiece. Yeah, dude. And some people like the chain smokers. And some people uh, like fucking like uh, goddamn. Uh, what's a bad TV show? You got a bad TV show, but not like a controversial. I don't need another like. No. What about fucking uh, Hunter I X Hunter? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Also, it's Hunter Hunter. I have never even seen the show, and I know that. Yeah, because you I watch was... anime. I don't watch anime, dude. I don't watch anime. You know, I... um, ten. You could name ten times more animes than me. Dude, Riverdale. Name ten an... Riverdale is not an anime. No, I'm just talking about a bad TV show. Yeah, I know people like Riverdale, but like, here's the thing. It's like normal to like the prequels. It's not normal to like Riverdale. Yeah, but it's just a nostalgia thing. People also like every other fucking bad movie. No, but I feel like I'm time. being gaslit. You're not being gaslit. You just don't like something. It's just subjective. Like you can't trick people. It's not. Like that. It's no, subjective. Dude, it literally is though. It's like, bad. You can't like I I hate to tell you, I think the movies fucking suck too, but like people like bad Ugh. shit. Like they always will. There's always music that people aren't gonna like. There's always this and that. It's just one of those fucking... There's music that's like super shitty that people still like just because it was played at their 8th grade dance. It's the same thing. Right, but like imagine your favorite album and then someone and then the band puts out an album that recontextualizes your favorite album and makes it worse. Yeah, dude, it's called 21 Pilots. <laughs> <laughs> their music fucking sucks, dude. I'm just saying like these movies took what I loved... And made it bad and made it worse from then on. Because now all future Star Wars lore has to account for this fucking garbage. I mean, it did, it's a fucking Disney franchise. That doesn't address any of what I just said. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Like, it's just a one big fucking, it's a big, big robot. Like, they don't, they're not going to ever. Even before it was a Disney franchise. Yeah, it was George Lucas. <laughs> I know. Who's basically if Disney was a man, but like, it's just, it, it makes it hard to look forward to something that I care about a lot and like a lot. Like fucking Mandalorian. We saw fucking CGI Luke Skywalker. It's just like every step of the way, something about what I love is like fucked up and it's sad because like I care about the art and I care about like 
the filmmaking and I care about these things. Someone said if y'all's friendship breaks over this, we're not disagreeing on anything. <laughs> no, Nick's just trying to tell me it's not it's not that deep. <laughs> yeah, there's people in the chat who are disagree with Ethan, but I'm not. We have there's no bad blood between us. I'm just like no. I'm just being a therapist to him. He's trying to help me come out of my darkness. Yeah, I there's no there's no uh there's no like negativity between us. I'm like yeah. I'm just trying to get in his like not get in his head. Get what well, how do I say get help in his head in a, in a positive way? Like uh get in help your me. Oh, whatever. I don't know why so, oh fuck. It's just Star Wars is so so influential to me. And it sucks to have Star Wars lore be really bad. Oh, pick his brain. That's what it is. Pick I just want to pick, I just pick, pick your little pick your brain. Nose. Little. I swear to God that if She-Hulk is bad, I'm going to lose my morals because I'm going to have to it's turn my like her to people who've never read the comics. Yeah, there are a lot of people who like who it's weird because you always have that like that spectrum of people who like have really like who like dislike something in bad taste um yeah. or like in bad faith sorry like with she hulk yeah. where it's like oh it's a it's woman hulk and there's like weird <laughs> jokes but like and then there's people who have like a good point where they're like the the you know the shit looks bad the jokes aren't as good as they were in the comics but they can understand that something works on paper literally versus yeah. on screen but maybe it'll be good <laughs> i don't know i'm not very optimistic i haven't been impressed by any of these marvel or star wars shows <laughs> you had to bring star wars back up <laughs> no marvel can eat my ass though for real like they piss me off now like i'm done okay I'm but so you get pissed off about marvel no i don't actually get pissed off though like i okay. say that and that's like as far as i'll go like i don't care beyond but that. imagine every time you say i'm pissed off about marvel someone's like no it's actually good and like tries to convince you that it's good well then i just then you be become like, no, bitter I, no then, then i just say what bitter. i always say which is what i'm saying to you which is everything is fucking subjective you're gonna you like it. stuff that i'm gonna dislike you and i don't agree on the same things artistically all the time it's, it's not about a one-on-one -on -one thing I know. It's about an industry that disagrees with me. <laughs> with me? I don't. No, I don't care about like people disagreeing I'm with me. I'm impressed by of the, the day. industry. But no, like I don't care about people disagreeing with me. There's a lot of people who agree with you. There's like a shit ton of people that agree with sure. you. Sure. But there's also <laughs> a minority of people that agree that fucking Marvel movies should do go on a different track than they are right now. But no one's listening to that group either. They're just being told that it's good by everybody. Right, and that's but like the frustrating part isn't the people individually disagree disagreeing with you. <laughs> it's the fact that the that the franchise is moving in a direction that sucks and is like not fun for you to enjoy, and you don't want to watch. Like the fact that I don't want to watch Star Wars shit anymore makes me really sad. Oh, that's how I feel about Marvel. Yeah, so it's like I get upset about it, and then people are like, "No, it's actually great," and it's like, "Fuck you, fucking fuck." I liked Spider Verse. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but yeah. <laughs> I love that movie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that movie's fantastic. I'm so excited for the new one. We mean MCU is what I think they thought that we Marvel we just meant blanket. Oh yeah, MCU. I don't I like comic books. I'm much more forgiving about comic books. People are fucking weird about comics. They're like, I don't like John Romita Jr. And I'm like, I love John Romita Jr. I don't like Umberto Ramos. Man, fuck you, Umberto Ramos. If you don't like Umberto Ramos, you can to suck my fucking Umberto dick. Oh my god, dude. What is going on with this guy? He's crazy. Look up on Berto Ramos Spider-Man and see what I mean. You're not acting like yourself, Ethan. He's now he's trying to freak me out. I'm really pissed off that I like never watched <laughs> Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Like it really makes me upset. Better Call Saul. <laughs> well, you can watch them now. What are you talking about? It just makes They're me on? sad I never watched them. Just watch them then. I've been telling you to watch Breaking Bad for like ever. <laughs> yeah, man. I know. I'm I'm in I'm in my Bojack era right now. I'm on That's I'm, fair. I'm almost done with season three and I'm like having a great time. Great isn't sad. Yeah, no, I'm not having like a great time, but I'm having <laughs> a great time. Mm -hmm. Um Okay. Can we stop can we, this whole Star Wars thing, you planned this. You wanted me to watch a Star also, Wars video. No, also, I literally have it. 
You know, I haven't talked about the Star Wars in months. I'm a, I've been in my Metal Gear Solid era, which is an era of peace and joy. Nice, man. That's great. We should we should play Metal Gear Solid. I would love to like coach you through the first Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, dude, I'd play Metal Gear. Bali. I, I want to work your way up so you can finally play five with like an understanding of the game. I need like I need more videos to put on my gaming channel. Yeah, I dude. need like some funny stuff. Dude, the trolley video got so many views. Did you see really? that? Really? I dude, I I mean I saw when you posted, I didn't see I haven't seen Dude, recently. watch this. <laughs> watch this. Like I just didn't even realize until a month out, like or I posted it two weeks ago. Dude, it has 120k views. Whoa. That's awesome. Actually, and it's just a it's just a it's a 41 minute video. That was a fun stream. I put you in second. <laughs> Thanks. This is actually on purpose, the the order. Jemk? Huh? Jemk? No, not ever. <laughs> that's not what I meant. I didn't. Put... <laughs> you thought when I said that, I meant take the first letter of every word. Yeah, because you, you highlighted them all. So I was like, oh, okay. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. Jump. Can we play Metal Gear? Can we play Metal Gear Strive? You're talking about Guilty Gear Strive, Derek. Oh, Guilty Gear f Strive, dude. Official teaser and trailer. Dude, we should we should get yeah, we should have you and Derek do a Star Wars debate and then I'll like go to bed and then we can do like a <laughs> subathon and you guys could just like donate. You guys could just sub to me like overnight while I sleep and they could just kind of go at it. Why wouldn't I do that Metal on my Gear channel? Metal Gear Survive. Yeah, Metal Gear Survive. No, I mean we can. I'll I'll play that as like a sub goal. I mean, that would be. I mean, why so bitter, awful. Ethan? Why so bitter? Metal Gear Survive. Yeah. God. No one likes Metal Gear Survive. Oh. I mean, okay. Here's the context, right? Hideo Kojima directed all the Metal Gears. It's like his babies, his whole series. They fire Hideo Kojima after Metal Gear Solid Five is the best-selling Metal Gear Solid of all time. They don't allow him to accept the Game of the Year award at the Game Awards. Um, and then they make Metal Gear survive a year after they fire him without him, obviously. And rather than being a story-based espionage anti-war game with deep lore and great gameplay, it's actually a zombie survival game. Crafting. Wow. So it's like disrespectful and it's shitty and it's a bad game. Wow. I mean, I summarized I, that so efficiently, though. You did. You did a good job. I thought it was good. I think Kojima only muddled the series. Man, dude. By writing all of it. <laughs> I mean, how does what, Ethan know? I this mean, is my favorite game. How does Sorry. he know what? I'm just so... I don't even know what you guys are talking about, to be frank with you. Metal Gear Solid. Let's play it. I don't even know right what now. that means. Is that like a deodorant or something? Metal Gear Solid's a PlayStation 1 video <laughs> game. Yeah, let me go get out my PlayStation 1 from 2003. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Look 2003. At this guy. Oh my god, what a fool. Dude, get an, get an emulator. Play so it. funny about 2003. When did it come out? 1998 or 1997 or 1996. Yeah, so, they, yeah, so they existed in 2003. I just went back to 2003 and got a really old one. <laughs> yeah, in 2003, the PlayStation 2 had been out for two years. Oh, my God, dude. So, like, I think that... Honestly, I think the Bo Book of Boba Fett was, like, the best, the best thing so far. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my God. More like the Book of Boobs and Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my dude. god. Dude, we've only gotten fucking two minutes. Yeah, I don't really care about this guy. I feel like uh I feel like he's kinda weird to be honest with you. I don't want to go crazy, but everyone jokes like all oh, Metal Gear gas, Metal Gear liquid. Well guess what? The main character is Solid Snake. The main bad guy is Liquid Snake. Liquid and Snake. then in the second game there's a third one. Guess what his name is? It's like Ron Snake. It's like it was something crazy. It's like gaseous. Solidus Snake. Solidus, yeah, yeah. Gaseous Snake. They gotta make a gaseous oh. snake soon. Wait, look up look up Donkey's Metal Gear video. That's a good one. I just like watched that video. Really? A long time ago. Which the, one? That one. 
the first one. You want me to watch a six, a seven minute video explaining Metal Gear Solid? I mean, what, Ethan, what at the end fun? of the I mean, guys, what is this going on here? You guys see this in chat? Like, he's trying to hijack not... the stream with with a <laughs> history lesson. I mean, what is this? My teacher's history class? <laughs> I'm right, guys. It's a joke video. It's not real. Handsome Jack is exactly like Nick from Nick is Not Green. I don't know what the fuck that sentence even means Han anymore. Is Handsome Jack from Borderlands? Is Handsome Jack the name of the apple from the Apple Jacks commercial? Handsome <laughs> Jack. <laughs> wait yes cinnamon and handsome jack no dude his name is not <laughs> handsome jack <laughs> wait have you seen have you seen uh Sc scott kramer's and joel haver haver <laughs> doing talking about the apple jacks commercials it's so funny no I have oh not. my god you're gonna laugh hard Hell yeah. You're going to laugh hard, dude. This video is so funny. What's up? Dude, so you're like, uh, video is 17, six minutes. This is 17 minutes. Yeah, but minutes. this one's funny. I mean, I know that donkeys <laughs> wouldn't be funny, but like, I don't think, I don't think my audience, I don't think the chat is really like interested in the Metal Gear Solid experience. It's not a real video. No, it's I know, joke. but like, I don't know if that's like what they're suited for, you know? I'm just saying like. Oh, it's about the chat. I see. <laughs> it's not about you, motherfucker. Hey, that's my sticker. That's no, not. You I used to have a sticker right here on my water bottle. And there's still <laughs> marks on it because I had to rip it off because I had dick and balls on it, dude. You shouldn't have ripped it off. Um, you should have left it. Joel here. Joel, Let's listen to this, this our one, friends Scott this, and jo this one George. Might not be used. I don't know <laughs> we these guys. We were out getting burgers, and I, I came to Scott with this idea that's just been eating away at me. And that's what was the story of the Apple Jacks <laughs> commercial? <laughs> and I have some places to go with this. No, I'm sure you. This Dude, isn't this sponsored. This is so funny. So we, we could say like Apple. Hey, Jacks this is funny, guys. Stink. It actually is sponsored, just not by Apple. Dude, seriously, this guy's just bought out. A lot. Now let's get back on the oh, series. He's putting ads in his videos. This one's What's got two million, you know? so I trust ads. it. Oh, at least to applejacks.com, one of my yeah. favorite websites. So that <laughs> when you pour a bowl of Applejack cereal, sweet cinnamon races to you. Time to go. But there's a bad apple. It's <laughs> handsome Jack. Get there first. All right, so handsome Jack. Here's my problem. <laughs> Why is the apple the bad guy? Because that's part of the cereal, right? Like half. So, it's absolutely <laughs> half. This is what I wanted to get at. It says Apple Jacks right here. Apple Jacks don't taste like apples. Knock, 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 knock. Because the taste of sweet cinnamon is the winner, man. Did they just say it doesn't taste like apples? Yeah, they're but... <laughs> really trying to distance themselves from the apple then, part of apple Then Apple's why did they put apple in it? <laughs> See, in it's my in childhood, logo. I was just watching this. I'm like, of course, of course the apple is beaten by the cinnamon because cinnamon is delicious. Yeah. But the apple is still very much part of the product they're selling to you. <laughs> Why is he an asshole? Well, it'd be like if you had, like, the product was like a Why strawberry is he an banana asshole? smoothie, and they were like, strawberries are yeah. the villain. Scumbag, <laughs> fucking dirty strawberries trying to get in, too. Winamon. A cinnamony part of this complete breakfast. I hate oh, that guy's oh, voice. So what? close to the mic. He's like, a cinnamony part of a... <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus, get out of my head, bro. Of this complete breakfast. <laughs> like, why is the mic so yeah, much that's different? Very close. Winama. A cinnamony part of this complete breakfast. Hello, they're called Apple Jacks! So he didn't make it in, but no, he definitely either. did, because we have evidence right here that he very much <laughs> does make it into the cereal. Earlier, the commercial said... They don't taste like apples. Apple Jacks don't taste like apples. They explicitly left the apple out of the bowl. So yeah. why is he here? He's just here to be a foil for the cinnamon? So is it like the Apple's Jacks? This, here's my theory. Okay. <laughs> it's his Jacks and he's like this gatekeeper. Of the of the jacks and the cinnamon. Maybe he's like a rule breaker. I gotta get to the next commercial. I'm sorry, I gotta get through the 17 minutes. You again. But there's a bad apple who's trying to get there first. Apple jacks doesn't taste like apples because the taste of sweet cinnamon. Is the winner. They must have pulled people and then like <laughs> they're like we hate we've the taste made, of they're apple. like we've made a million of these boxes already and then like they pulled like kids and they're like. 
ew, apples. You, you put apples in here? And you're like, no, 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 there's another thing in here. That's the big pull. It's like, hey, kids, this isn't apples. Right. There's no apples here. Yeah. It's a bait and switch without actually, like, switching. It's the opposite. Going into this, I had no idea they just straight up say it doesn't taste like apples. This is quite literally Sabrina an asked if this, we yeah, finished the video. So it's not even... Uh, go ahead, look, what's our progress? <laughs> I think I matched out of it. <laughs> we were like two minutes into it. We got like two and a half minutes out of it. I was trying 15. to distance Ethan from, from Star Wars, so I kind of eked us out of it. But then you had to bring it back up. Thanks a I lot. I did, I, listen, the video wasn't even about Star Wars. Let's just get, let's get deeper into the lore. Apples <laughs> suck ass, man. It feels like it's on par with like, peanut butter crunch. If they were like, don't even f***ing think for one second that there's peanut butter in this because there is not i know you see the peanut butter in the title <laughs> f you dude now for a limited time sweet and cinnamon what is the fuck? time they had balls in their cereal <laughs> what dude look at these they had balls in their cereal bro Put balls in that. They've got balls in there. Boxes of double vision Applejack cereal. Look at how opaque this milk is. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> is that like raw milk? It must be like just like white. It looks like paint water. They always have the plate <laughs> so of apples. I mean, they're like telling us apples suck, but always eat your cereal with a plate of apples plate next of to it. Here I come, my own cinnamon. Oh my god. Oh, what happened? Oh, what? Wait, I want to take a guess though. Do you think they'll separate before they get to the bowl and the oh. apple will be left out again? Cinnamon is going to kick him like there's going to be like a mid air shot where cinnamon shoots out. Uh -huh. Apple falls down. Take a load off, huh. In every bowl of Kellogg's Applejack cereal, the taste of cinnamon With apples. is the winner, man. Wait. Okay, this changes everything. <laughs> so They've been out lying right the whole time, and Apple has been in there, or they're saying they changed their recipe, yeah. and now there is Apple in there. The cinnamon, the taste of cinnamon with Apple. But so they were so, so... They're like, like it doesn't it taste like no Apple. apple in there. Cinnamon got there first. You can have the slices yeah. on the side, but it's not <laughs> in the cereal. It's not in the cereal. <laughs> there. Huh? We got to go. They've been living as one for how long? They oh my god, now, now I'm like remembering this. What happened to you? Don't yeah, like the there's a story. It's like an art. Yeah. How to Finally, the fusion get art. Unstuck. Got it. It's here. To get unstuck, you just search unstuck. <laughs> <laughs> just search the word unstuck. Every time you pour a bowl of Applejack cereal, apple and cinema race here i go my own cinema to bring the delicious taste to you who will it be the winner they're like summoned in the box there is no apple or cinnamon yeah the, the, these are just flavorless so yeah they're <laughs> saying if you eat it straight out of the box it's not gonna taste like anything you have to pour it summon the apple and cinnamon <laughs> And just hope to God that apple doesn't get in there. <laughs> hey, I totally beat him. Ooh, victory is sweet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the sound of me getting in the bowl first. Who poured this bowl of cereal? <laughs> it's like they're leaving cookies out for Santa Claus. You're supposed to pour the bowl the day before. <laughs> right. Give, the these, give these tiny little creatures enough time to get to it. I've never tasted the true flavor of Apple Jacks because I've never yeah, waited for them in, to get there. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Who will be the winner? A cinnamony tasting sweet part of a nutritious breakfast. Wait, they got okay. A whole different conversation. They of a Wait, nutritious breakfast. <laughs> Who will be the winner? Both win a cinnamony tasting sweet part of a nutritious breakfast. Wait, they got okay. A whole different conversation. They got rid of his dreads. They de-Jamaicanized the <laughs> cinema. Do you think there was uproar about it? Wait, it was just to so avoid funny, like man. Exact same it's graphics. Just a stick. He's like, literally, it's what just if we a get stick. to these commercials and he just has a very American... Hello, I'm... <laughs> Here I come. I am cinnamon. <laughs> I am the winner, man. <laughs> just think of all the Applejacks out here. Millions. Oh
<laughs> they're like omnipresent <laughs> beings, right? And like, what? What's the goal? Like, do they want to be eaten? No, they dunk and then they, do they like soak. I have some in my uh, get out <laughs> nice. and towel off in my and my next bowl. <laughs> do you think there's like alternate timelines in each one of these? <laughs> each one of these commercials, we're watching the death of these characters because otherwise, it just is your thing, which is gross. <laughs> Apple? It's coming! Or cinema? Who will be? <laughs> the winner! <man. laughs> Win and Kellogg's mind. Applejack cereal. Apple is like consistently winning at this. <laughs> they, maybe they had like a big thing about parents being upset. Like, stop telling our kids <laughs> apples are bad yeah. for you. You're lucky there's only one of me. Not anymore. Applejacks. Introducing Applejack's Apple clones. That's me and me and me. A new apple shaped addition me. to the taste you've always loved. They literally added the apple shape which goes to show you how much we've progressed past oh, yeah. anti-Apple propaganda. <laughs> they got Apple twice in this. Uh -huh. Apple Jacks, Apple Clones. At this point, I'm, I'm almost feeling bad for Cinnamon, uh, yeah. where he's, he's been <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> complete. He's lucky he's, he's such like a humble, understanding guy. The sweet flavor of Apple. Here I come, I am Cinnamon. And Cinnamon make a great taste that's always the They led off with the sweet flavor of Apple. It's the, so it's like he's the, the headliner. World, the world is a beautiful changing mm -hmm. place. Wow. Hello, delicious. Come on, talk to me. Say something. Cinnamon, get Will me Will Cinnamon out find Apple? You can find out only at Oh, I remember this too. What? Yeah. I'm hooked. Oh, it's running He's deep. kidnapped. Is he the only sentient Apple in yeah, the world? Yeah, he's like the only <laughs> But he didn't know it? He didn't know. Like, he just figured has it he out. Just, has he just been f***ing apples? <laughs> Because he walks into this grocery store and he's instantly flirting with the first apple he sees. He's just been banging those things. I'm sorry. Oh my clowns! Where'd you go, man? Right here. You can ask parents permission to go to applejacks.com to help Cinnamon find the real apple. Every time they jump in. Have you ever I... seen the movie The Prestige? Guys, the hell, man. I've never seen it. Oh, it's a good movie, maybe. You should watch it. Maybe. <laughs> no, yeah, I seen it. I seen it. It's a it's a Christopher Nolan movie. Did you see the user in chat? Nick, please watch Donkey. Dude, I like Donkey. I've seen the video. <laughs> I just don't. I just think one guy named Nick, please watch Donkey. <laughs> once, you know? Well, I also. So that's two people. I think that's your account, isn't it? <laughs> no. There's no... Applejacks.com is not secure. They're gonna get me. Dude, I'm so tired. Dude, me too. I sent you another quartering video that doesn't have Star Wars in it. It's about Dave Chappelle, your favorite comedian. Oh my god. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here. It's the same story. fucking <laughs> recording <laughs> session. It's literally the same. What's going on, guys? Jeremy here. What's, What's going on, everyone? Going on? Jeremy here from so boring. We've got some up. very. Who's watching him? I'm just so confused. Dude, like, almost two hundred thousand people. Who goes to this guy for their news? Interesting. Very predictable news about the lunatics that uh, have been following Dave Chappelle around. Apparently, uh, goes by Anquifa, swamp creature. Uh, is he? What is he saying? Is he trying to make a joke? Or I can't tell if he's talking about the story or if this is like it's supposed to be a joke. Oh, that Anquifa joke is a. If it if it is one, I don't know. He didn't know how to deliver it. I don't know. If it's just like that didn't taste good. Um, or if it's just like some fucking fuck. Uh, oh yeah, we should watch Andrew Tate's music video. Did it just happen? I guess so. Someone said it's new. What is up? They hate you. Welcome to the chat. Just one person's first time in chat. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what up? No, it says it. I have like a little thing that makes it say first time chat from viewer. No, I know you just haven't said that to anyone else. I'm sure there's been other people in the first first time in chat, right? Nope, nope. Everyone's everyone everyone's a veteran. <laughs> nope. Damn. Okay. Not a single one of them. I know everybody That's by name. That's crazy. No, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just see someone and they just catch me. I do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> me, Natty. 
says peep peep welcome to the chat for the first time guys um why is your bong water yellow that's probably someone who doesn't smoke from a bong um no this is just like it like literally is yeah like it has yellow like encased in it like it's really oh it's just the glasses just stained <laughs> yeah yellow. the glass is really yellow i mean the water is probably a little yellow too yeah i mean using the bong it's, it's just how it goes bong. it's spong spotter but yeah it like literally has like yellow gel shit inside of it and i peed in bong. it yeah <laughs> nick's bong piss piss uh welcome kai new to branch first time chatter real dot live welcome let's go just got off of work young peasy welcome first time chatter don't watch the donkey vid but also don't watch quarter pounder i want to watch quarter pounder i want to see this I, dave I, chappelle I, has I, lunatics arrested and show their real identities will make you this, laugh it's not my name dude he's but, he's uh, he hit his head according to you uh maya cathel or mia cathel worth a follow on twitter by the way and Queen this is like the, the cia dude, dude this, this is, is like crazy... right-wingers pretending to attack dave chappelle this is not real like look at this this is not real. like also what is uh the this website that this is on is insane yeah and i don't it know looks... what the fuck this is and also he has his downloads down here and this says coffee shapiro elm activists who were arrested at the anti Dave Chappelle protest? <clears throat> What's that cartoon? This. Yeah, I'm a little confused. Like, this is an awesome political cartoon. Oh, it says "Don't say gay," and, and then it's, it's a, a monkey? monkey hitting the donkey, and it says "monkey oh. Oh, pox." It says "pox" on the monkey head, so it's monkey oh, pox. Monkey pox. Monkey pox is, killing... is killing the "don't say gay." But oh, 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 oh! I got it! I got it! They think that Democrats are releasing monkeypox and pretending that monkeypox is real to distract from from passing the don't say gay bill which like happened a minute ago i don't yeah which is such a weird stretch to be like to be like then they did that to block the don't say gay bill i guess i feel like i'm missing something like that could be it but it might not be monkeypox they're hitting the donkey head, which is like. But I, I think it's like monkeypox is, is. I think it's homophobic. I don't think it's like anti Democrat necessarily. I think it's like oh, all Democrats yeah. are gay and monkeypox is coming like with a real. A real hitter. Mm. You know, monkeypox is going to kill all the Democrats, is what they're saying, even though it doesn't really kill you. Um, also, I yeah, see. they think monkeypox is a gay disease. When it's not, even if it was just a gay disease, bisexual people exist and can spread it to non-gay people as a result. Wow, that's even worse than the other one. AIDS? No, than the other explanation that I had for it. Oh. <laughs> Today, a circus of far-left extremists were arrested in Minneapolis at the direct action dude i can't even watch a video of his because he can't he does he just can't read like it's just frustrating <laughs> like, turn the speed up i can't hit actually five let's just hit him with a two against irreverent funny guy dave chappelle's performance last friday the venue was relocated to varsity theater after woke activists accusing the black medium of phobia targeted chappelle sold out comedy show at the initial first he didn't even the say transphobia he just said phobia stand up act the cry bullies were comedy show at the initial first avenue locale well, where the fuck is he reading this this is such an opinion piece yeah it's so bizarre this babylon b like last friday the venue was relocated to varsity theater after woke activists accusing the black comedian of phobia what the why does he not say maybe he bleeped oh, it out because he's like oh if i say it i'm gonna get the demonetized varsity theater after woke activists accusing the black comedian of phobia no he just didn't know the black comedian of phobia he just can't talk. That's literally it. The varsity theater after woke activists accusing the black comedian of phobia. Dude, like, how? Like, this is your job. This is your whole thing. It's all you have to do. The one thing you have to do to make money is tell the news. You just got to explain the news to people. That's when your job. the worst reader in class gets chosen for popcorn. <laughs> and everyone's like, God damn, why do they have to force us to read? Oh, my God, dude. The I'm losing my mind. Accusing the black comedian of phobia. 
located to Varsity Theater after woke activists mm -hmm. accusing the black comedian of phobia targeted Chappelle's sold-out comedy show at the initial First Avenue locale earlier the week and pressured <laughs> event management to cancel the stand-up act. The cry bullies were successful, forcing the impromptu move. The cry bullies. Oh, yeah, that's what? some real unbiased news you're reading right there. I know. It's insane to say things like that. <laughs> It'd be like, I'm going to deliver you guys the news. Like, imagine if Hassan was, like, pulled up an article or something, and it's like, the little itty-bitty baby boys yeah. went, uh, freaking went after the Capitol this weekend. Just hours before Chappelle was set to take the stage, on the first of his three consecutive days in the Democrat stronghold, showcasing unapologetic comedic his unapologetic comedic repertoire, including jabs that come for all, <laughs> trigger the wrath of quote repertoire. What was that about, dude? He took his French class in high school. Repertoire. <laughs> hey. It's a little bit of a repertoire, including jabs that come for all, pull no punches, and trigger the wrath of quote the alphabet people <laughs> the alphabet people do you like the way he looks at the camera like the, before he said the alphabet people <laughs> he was so proud of himself the alphabet people he was so proud of himself but he was like just reading something someone else wrote that's based off of dave Chappelle's old bit trigger the wrath of, including jabs that come for all pull no punches and trigger the wrath of quote Dude, what is he saying, bro? Showcasing unapologetic comedic, his unapologetic comedic repertoire. <laughs> repertoire. <laughs> repertoire. <laughs> Showcasing unapologetic comedic, his unapologetic comedic repertoire. Including jabs. Where is it? Where is it? Come for all. Pull no it's punches and trigger the wrath of, quote, the alphabet people. <laughs> Why he's is like, he looking away? He's like trying to do his best Tucker Carlson impression. Oh the yeah, a little bit. People. Punches and trigger the rap. The alphabet people. The alphabet people. He's not doing it right though. Tucker Carlson's more like what they're teaching in your <laughs> schools is the alphabet people's rhetoric. They'll tell you that it's education when in reality <laughs> it's anything but. Yeah, we're pretty similar. We've interviewed yeah. renowned neo-Nazi. <laughs> you and Tucker Carlson are pretty similar in a lot of ways. Now that I see uh, it, yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> both of our stepmoms were uh, part of the Swanson frozen food dynasty. What's up? The Swanson frozen food dynasty. Oh, guys, I cringed. I need to move it to fourteen. <laughs> I think I remember to do it like 50% of the time. Someone said in chat, um, where did it, where'd it go? They said, first time chat from viewer. Have you ever overdosed on shrooms before? Sorry for asking my guy. Why would you apologize for asking a question before I answer? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you need to you say sorry after. Like, why would you say sorry before? <laughs> I love it's like sorry if it, it's not they're not saying like sorry if this is uncomfortable just sorry, sorry for, for asking, asking. Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> like just being like hey uh do do you like want to hang out later sorry I, I sorry for asking like it's so stupid sorry Derek for says we should Derek says we should watch the Metal Gear video oh my god the Metal Gear video. it's funny I was like close to being done the Metal Gear it's video fine. I mean I've seen the Metal this. Gear video have you seen the Metal Gear video? No, I've not even done Shrooms. Uh, yeah, I've seen the Metal Gear video like a long time ago because it came out like two years ago. It's a good video. Are you gonna watch? Are you guys gonna watch? Y'all gonna watch She Hulk? No, <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, I mean, fuck I, no. I haven't even watched. I mean, the Daredevil's in it, and that's kind of cool, but he, I don't really care. And I don't really believe in Daredevils. Guys, I okay. have seen the Metal Gear video. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, ah, <laughs> I'm going to turn into She-Hulk. We're going to play Metal Gear, dude. We're going to do it. It's going to be fun. Theater. It's going to be just like old times. Theater. You and me, just like Staging old game. times. A sideshow of masked, colored dude, hair. I don't even know what he's and saying. mostly white, anti-fash sought to shut down the black comic prior to showtime. One of the showgoers. He's not even like saying it. He's not even. He's just reading. 
He's spending yeah. the whole time. When is he gonna give his opinion? Quote and footage are permitted to. He's be still reading the article. Oh, 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 get it! Oh man, I mean, just get it. Hell yeah, I love police. What is this Hell, video? I think it's funny, like how you know the the. It's like I think it's like a weird badge of honor or something like that to get this. I don't know. But, I've been hit in like the bypass of it. And it's not to? great. It's not great. Oh, he's saying uh, it's a badge of honor to get pepper sprayed. Teen who asserts that she what? is quote living on stolen Dakota land in the Twin Cities is a like this is just a fucking classic example of just like taking being like this is everybody. This is yeah. This thing that happened is associated with everybody that disagrees every queer with person. Me. Yeah, yeah, is just like this. Um, yeah, this. I mean, and this person's like fake. Look, in January 2021, a Medium post titled "I shit my pants at work," being dedicated an entire rather candid article to chronicling her detailed tale of workplace incontinence and survival, all while dealing with long COVID under capitalism. Bullshit. This is an op, or it's a troll. This is someone from 4chan. It's not real. But people like the quartering are stupid and they'll believe anything that they see in front of them as long as it confirms their biases. I want you to there, confirm buddy. my thighs, you see? Dude, you're always fucking undermining my goddamn points. Listen, man, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. What's in that drink, dude? Why are you like eating out of it? It's a chocolate cake shake. So basically, they put oh. chocolate cake in the shake, and then at the bottom of once you finish the shake, there's chocolate cake at the bottom. So I'm eating the chocolate cake. I mean, I kind of assumed there there was chocolate cake on the bottom because it's called the chocolate cake shake. Yeah. Do you want to watch Andrew Tate's music video? Um, no, but I will. Someone linked it. Why is the, when you look up Andrew Tate, why is there like a, an emoji that won't show up? You notice that? It's yeah, been like what's that. with that. I don't know what the fuck that is. Is it because there's always an emoji after one of his clips? Obj. Oh. Three months ago, two months ago. What's it... the what's the new one? Someone just linked it. Look in the chat. Oh, what? hold. Oh, well, this one's. Uh, no, that's from like a couple. This days one's ago. from three months ago, but I think it was just. Oh. What's a new video for? Take oh, this. it's re-uploaded to fucking. Is it the same thing? Suicide, suicide, suicide. It's do a oh. die, do a die, do a die. Go, go, no. Wait, is this the same one as the one in? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's called suicide. <laughs> suicide, suicide. It's do a die, do a die, do a die. Go, go, go. no hope. I was broke, did it dirty, no soap. He looks like. I was gonna write a suicide note. This is, this is like actually really it's funny how like how obviously awful it is like you can't even pass it off as like a decent trap song did it dirty no soap also like he looks like such a dweeb he looks like it's such a, a little dork here he just looks off yeah it's not like also look at his fucking poor dog's ears Oh, oh yeah, he butchered. cropped his dog's fucking ears. What a fucking... But it. it's like a shitty crop job, despite the fact that he's a millionaire. You can see how thick the ears are with scar tissue. Like, even the best crop job, there's a lot of scar tissue, but, like, you usually can't tell from a fucking mile away with a greasy-ass camera or whatever this filter, filter is. And, of course, he crops his dog's ears. Yeah. He, Andrew takes <laughs> the kind of guy to crop his dog's ears, but won't neuter him because it, like, emasculates him. Die for me. Put your fucking hands in the sky for me. That's me. 
that's me. Big daddy T A T to the E. Money on my mind every day. Every night. So oh, T A T. Suicide, that's right. Door suicide. Kurt Cobain. McLaren 720, but it sound like a plane. Uh. When I'm on the road, stay in your lane. Beacon killed like a shot to the brain. Suicide. 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 Honey, man. Suicide. Let's do it, die. Can we put this in the AI thing to remove the music and just hear the lyrics? <laughs> yeah, we do that. Who's this guy? And they just want to ride because they love the way we shine. But I still remember days we used to struggle on the grind. That's the an actual musician. He has better rhythm. Nowadays, we're getting paid. We throw money. <laughs> so bad. We throw shade. He sounds like The Rock. I was just going to say that. <laughs> he literally has a weird growl in his voice. Yeah. It's about drive. It's about power. Someone said I can't kill myself to this. It's too bad. <laughs> oh my god. What was I? The AI. Let's fucking strip this shit. I want to hear just the vocals. Suicide. Suicide. It's do or die. Dude's looking at me so funny. He's so squished. <laughs> what a loser, man. Big Daddy T A T to the E. Also, the beat is fucking terrible, but that's like obvious. It's just some beat that he purchased. Dude, it's like it's so funny how like how like uh, like it's not even it doesn't even pass for like a shitty. Remember when Elon Musk released a song? No, what? <laughs> he released like an EDM song. It's oh, so it's just so lame, dude. And people also, are like, just... wow, Elon can do anything. <laughs> also, I want to point out, someone in the comments was like, uh, Andrew Tate's the only person to own everything, or the only rapper to own I everything you see in the music video. But he's he's going to fucking show his fucking 15 Bugattis in his, in his music video, but he has to get a beat from freeroyaltybeats.com. <laughs> like... Yeah, you could literally, like, have any you can producer hire a producer, in the world. literally. But he's just an idiot. He's an idiot. Door suicide. Kurt Cobain. McLaren 720. But it sounds like a plane. Have... When I'm on the it's road, like so stay in your lane. Feet getting killed like a shot to the brain. Suicide. 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 It's do a die. Do a die. Do a die. Yo. No hope. No hope. I was broke. Did it dirty. No soap. I was gonna write a suicide note, but now I kill it making suicide notes. B bang it out. Bang it out. Kill the game. I don't wanna hang about. White chicks. No doubt. Kind of money made these hoes wanna shout. So bounce with me. B bounce with me. Got my brother in the gang sipping in the house with me. Survive for me. Die for me. Put your fucking hands in the sky for me. That's me. That's me. Big daddy T A T to the E. Money on my mind every day, every night. Mess with me and you're committing suicide. That's right. Your suicide. Money on my you're mind every day, every, every night. 720, but it sound like a plane. When I'm on the road, stay in your lane. Beat getting killed like a shot to the brain. Suicide. 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 It's do it die. Do it die. Do it die. Make them want to lose their mind. <laughs> when they see the money, want to roll with the gang. They <laughs> come to you at a time. Right? Dustin Tate. And they just want to ride because yeah. they love the way we shine. But I still remember days we used to struggle on the grind. That's the reason why I'm never swallowed when my pride tries to stop us. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. That's right. Nowadays, we're getting paid. We throw money, we throw shade. Kicking down the door like police in a raid. Haters want to talk, we just dig another grade. No, no joke. Free smoke. Supermodels, deep throat, on a wave while you're struggling to float. Still setting sails, might buy myself a boat or, or a yacht. I'm too hot. Twenty five bottles when I step or a yacht. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Or a yacht. <laughs> I'll buy a boat or a yacht. Or a yacht. I'm too hot. It's literally like lyrical miracle, and then he's just like he's not rapping. He's just like saying two words. Every like other beat. <laughs>
Dude, I could literally like freestyle better than than his fucking. It's just what he wrote down, and people were. Oh, on this. dude, this tool lets us freestyle to other people's fucking beats. Not that you couldn't find this on literally <laughs> fucking True. some fucking random site, but let's let's do freestyles to pass up oh, Andrew Tate. Still setting sails, might buy myself a boat or, or a yacht. I'm too hot. Twenty five bottles when I step up in the spot. Tied up. You're not. With the G's, putting G's in the pot. That's me, that's me. Big, big, big boss is Mr. Plenty. I've been trying to shine since 1999. Mess with me and you commit suicide, mother. Go oh. suicide. Kurt Cobain. I'm a DJ. Terror 720, but it sound like a plane. When I'm on yeah, the road, stay in your do. lane. Be getting killed like a shot to the brain. Suicide. 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 It's do it die. Do it die. Do it die. What if, like, randomly in this beat, we heard, like, uh, <laughs> demo, <laughs> free royalty, royalty grooves, yeah, royaltyfreebeats.com. All right, now go in. Yeah, yeah. I don't wanna die, yeah. I wanna live, that would be real fly. Huh, I'm just like every other guy. Huh, and I've got a real nasty sty on my eye. I got pink eye from all the ass that I ate. In a video game about eating ass, I didn't do it in real life. Every single time I see a kitchen knife, makes me wanna spread that PBJ on my sandwich. Hey. Give me a ham sandwich, ham and cheese. Yes, yeah. please. Take yeah. me down to the deli so I see. Yum, yum. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? Bro? <laughs> what was that, dude? What the fuck? That's not right. <laughs> it doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> How far into the song is that? It's like a, it's like a minute into it. Why does it the beat? How does he stay? It's like broken. Got my brother in the gang sipping in the house with me. To ride for me, die for me. Put your fucking hands in the sky for me. That's me. Oh, maybe the AI just fucked it up a little bit. Oh, is that? That's me, Big Daddy T, A T to the E. Money on my mind every day, every night. Money day to the D to the D to the A to the D. It sounds like he says D to the A to the T to the E or whatever. So I like bacon wrap dates. Yeah. I like bacon wrap dates. Uh. Bacon wrap dates, take me on a date. <laughs> bacon wrap dates, take me on a date. Bacon wrap. <laughs> Take me on a date to the bacon wrap. Take me on a, take me on a. Santa baby, Santa baby, baby. All right, Ethan, hit us with that delayed rap. Hit us with that oh yeah, rap. I forgot it's gonna be delayed. It's gonna sound so bad. Hit it, hit it. Gonna do this rap like it's bacon. Fuck this fucking big you blow back to the beginning. This part sucks. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Gonna do this rap like it's bacon. Bacon. Epic meal time. Harley, what's he making? Making. Making bacon all day long. Long. Gonna put it on my schlong. Schlong. Harley, epic meal time. He's my hero. Gonna go from 100 to zero. <laughs> Good hits, lots of subscribers. And I got a little a diver. <laughs> He's got a little a diver <laughs> in the water and he's swimming. I go to the lottery that I'm winning. I got money. Huh. I got the Playboy bunny. In Minecraft, that's my skin. Let's find out. Dig till I find a little diamond. Huh. To the record label I'm signing. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh, every single treasure I'm finding. I'm a little pirate. Let me see that booty. <laughs> I'm a little pirate. Let's get a little groovy. Aye aye. Get the haul of the shit. Then get the haul with my hips. Get the haul in a slip. Get the haul with the. What the da 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 Shimmy, shimmy, 
shimmy down a ladder. Mm, I got a piss with my bladder. <laughs> I'm just madder. Mm, I'm so pissed I'm madder. Huh. My name, my name's Steve Jobs. Uh, I died in 2008? <laughs> yeah. Nine. Okay. Got Michael Jackson, he he. Wanna hit him with the wax on. Wax on, wax off. I'm the karate kid. Give me that cookie, open the lid. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Chocolate chip, yeah, put it in my tummy. Huh. I'm a, like a bunny. Making lots of babies every single day. Like a, my nose is runny. Gotta get the tissue. Feeling kinda funny. If I was a weatherman in LA, it'd be so easy. Cause I could just say every day that it's sunny, 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 honey, 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 honey. Sunny is half layers. Baby, every single oh time that you come by. Nick, I just realized you know what we could do. What? Live cover of Where is the Love? Oh my god, dude, you're so right. We could just do a little bit of. This, this tool is amazing. Well, this tool, this, yeah, we can just look up the karaoke of it. Oh, I guess I never <laughs> thought about that before. <laughs> Maybe we should switch off every time? screen. Well, let's switch off every screen. I can't be so off. The whole world is doing to the drug. <laughs> This is what you to demonstrate and exactly how anger works and operates. Man, you gotta have love, this will set us straight. Take control of your mind and meditate. Let your soul gravitate to the love, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'll, I got this. It's in the same old ways to change new days as strange as the world can say. But we can't go out and just be in the dark so much longer. Little one, we're not going to go in. As the youth dies young, so ask yourself, is the love of really God so I can ask myself? Really, what is going wrong with the world that we live in? <laughs> People keep up giving in, making the wrong decisions, only vicious, and such friends and respecting each other. Tonight, then, brother, a war is going on, but the reason's <laughs> undercover. The secret truth is secret. We can't just throw through the rug. You never know the truth, then you never know the love. love. Where's the love, y'all? I don't know. Where's the truth, y'all? I don't know. I don't know. Where's know. the love, y'all? People can't believe it. 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 <laughs> Whatever happened to the fairness and equality? Instead of spreading love, we spread an animosity. <laughs> Unity. Under. The reason why sometimes I'm feeling down, I don't know what the fuck part of the song this is.
Thank you, Easy Karaoke. Nick, do you want to see who could do uh, Rap God better? No, I don't think I want to do that, actually. We could switch off Rap God. Like, I don't actually so even know the song. Like, I don't know. Me how neither. I've listened to it like twice in my whole What about life. hashtag Where's the Love Karaoke? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, they actually do have it. <laughs> of course they do. Guys, this one's very serious. Everyone yeah, can we actually be serious about this one? Yeah, I don't want any jokes in the chat for this one. People killing, people dying. Children hurting to hear them crying. Can you practice what you're preaching? <laughs> Why'd you turn the other cheek again? Go ahead, Ethan. Mama, 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 tell us what the heck oh, is going, going on. Can we all just get along? <laughs> father, <laughs> father, 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 help us. Send some guidance from above. Mom. See, what got me, got me questioning. Where's the love? What's going on with the world? This is so confusing for karaoke. It's like already showing up on the top. Do it, understand the concept of meaning the love. I love overseas. Did you try to stop terrorism? Hey, terrorism! In the streets, the police shoot. People put the bullets in them. This dude, this karaoke is so confusing. Discriminate. Oh, my favorite part. Just discriminate. discriminate. Only generate. When you get it. Power it. Power it. Man, this is what you demonstrated. That's exactly how he uh, works, he and, works and operates. And operates. Yeah, oh my God, it's straight. It straight. Take control Take of your mind. Of your just, mind. Meditate. just meditate. Like, and and your just, soul and just gravitate, gravitate to the love. To the love. To the whole world. World. The see world. See a love. <laughs> <laughs> People killing, people dying. Celebrate people killing. What? <laughs> Mama, tell us what the hell is going on. Can we, Can we all, all just, just get along? along? <laughs> what the fuck was that sound? <laughs> 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 Some fucking troll Someone in the studio. Someone did point out says 4,000 views. He walks in. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great troll noise. <laughs> Hamilton karaoke. Dude, it's fucking Animal Crossing. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's so good. Father, 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 help us. Send some guidance from, from above. above Cause people got me, got me questioning Where's the love? Those days the same, all these in change Where's the love? New days are strange, is the world insane? Batman, Spider-Man We should drop a bomb, we killing our little ones They always have to bring that up I'm going so go in and then you die young Knocked down. Yo, where's the love when a cop gets knocked down, guys? <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Yeah, that and then Black Lives Not Now, Everybody Matter to Me. Wow. All races. That's way worse than I thought it was. Wow. We never even got also, to that part when we made that three hour video that we never put out. I know. Also, this is from 2013 or 2014. Early to get on the All, Ma All Lives Matter train. But also... No, dude, this was think? 2016, bro. No, no, this is when this was uploaded. I mean, the original 10-year anniversary, Where's the Love? I thought that was in 2016, too. Was it? I thought it was 2013. Because I was, I was thinking the 20-year anniversary is coming up. Father, father, yeah. Where is the love? Oh. September 2016. Okay, we got a few more years before the 20-year 20 <laughs> 20 anniversary. Dude, I wish there was another one soon. I wish they had us with a 15-er. You think they will do one for 2026? Dude, yeah, they'd have to. Because you know, so everything's cool. just going to be worse. So it's going to be, they're going to be like, now's the time for us to come back and stand up. 
And it's like, it, yeah, it just dude. the world just keeps getting worse every time they make these. They're like, no, you don't need to pull one out. You don't need to pull one out. <laughs> Why don't we just do a decade Please without stop. Where's the Love? Yeah. Well, it's not now. Dude. Everybody mattered to me all races. Y'all don't like what I'm saying. It's hater raid tall cases. <laughs> Guess we all races. What the fuck like is this, Like I do a dude. song about love and y'all hate this. Yeah, because it's fucking racist, dude. Like, mm -hmm. Jesus Lord. Yeah, that's a cringe for sure. Just to be like, you guys, you guys who are mad about us saying all lives matter, like, you guys Haterade. are just a bunch of haters. Big hater aid. all born with the heart and why we gotta chase it every time we i look around every time i look up oh, every, time I look every time i look around oh yeah every, every time i look around there's so many spelling errors and you never know how love, love sounds, sounds where's the love and, and if you never know, know love then you never then know just god back where's, in, the where's the love where's the love where's the love Sorry. Sorry. Where's my love? Where is the love? This is the best part of the song. I want to sample that. That's Oh my god, it's the game. Dude, that guy's such a freaking dork. When a child gets murdered, or a cop gets knocked down, black lives not now, everybody matter to me. All racist, you don't like what I'm- All of these people have such fucking, like, god savior complexes. complexes like, they're, yeah. they all think they're, like, the fucking, like, like, god's gift to earth. Like, look at them. Dude, like, how can yeah. you take this seriously? Like, sit here and be like, I'm, like, guys, we're doing something really important. How are you gonna sit next to- Fucking will I am wearing that hat and make that <laughs> face, Justin Timberlake. We do have Ethan and I actually do have a Black Eyed Peas song that we really like. There's like a whole origin yeah. behind it that led up to this moment that is still exists, but it's just somewhere on Google Drive. <laughs> somewhere we'll find it. I fucking love. I love. Uh, I've been trying to find Black Eyed Peas merch on Depop, and it's all so expensive. Literally like a hundred bucks for a tour shirt. And I'm like, fuck you. Godzilla by Eminem. I don't know that one. I could do fucking, I could do a uh, tone deaf probably on karaoke at this point. That's scary, dude. I all to ego's fault. The evil thoughts could be so dark. Cerebral palsy. Three is a loss. Okay. I think we should, I think I need to wrap up the stream. I'm freaking tired, dude. I need to go the hell like. That goes off to Rico Suave. Look it up. Cadillac with a ladder rack and a rack. I don't know that part. Should we rate Prezzo? <laughs> rate Prezzo? No, rate him. Rate Prezzo? No, rate him. Sorry. Yeah, dude. Let's rate Prezzo. Oh, wait, before we rate. Dude, stop that. Before we rate him, we need to do an outro. Thank you for playing You Cringe, You Smoke for the eighth episode, maybe. Ethan, you're not looking very welcoming. Can you say bye to everybody? Sorry, I got nervous. It's okay, man. It's okay. Go ahead. You got it. Uh... Hi, fuck. Oh my god, could he take any longer? Hey man, it's totally fine. Sorry. We just okay. gotta do this before the raid happens. It's ticking. It's like a clock. Guys, please Bye. go go just go crazy for this raid. Okay, go ahead. Bye. That's all you wanted to say? Just bye? You didn't want to promote it. Well, you said it. say bye. What do you want to plug? <laughs> my fucking lights at all all my right. Turn them on. No, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, you can look at me on YouTube. Ew, dude. <laughs> dude, what the hell? Are you oh, saying? You just resubscribed like one a minute ago. Thanks. 
Yeah, 16 months. Baby. Wow, that's crazy. You're like a big fan of me. I am actually. Okay, we gotta say bye. 10 seconds. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye. Tell, said hi. Tell him I said hi. Tell him Ethan me. said hi. Bye. Ask Prezzo to follow me on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Let's stuff with.